Hello everybody and a very good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV for the final show of our Wicked Wednesday. Wicked! Um, my name is Ben Mosby, thank you for joining us. It's, um, it's been a fun day today actually. I, th I, I feel like we've had a lovely day. I had a, a nice wake up call earlier on this morning with uh, Lily and Debbie. And then of course we had our masterclass a little bit earlier on all things Spectra Noir. If you missed that by the way, do go back and watch it because I feel like we learned a lot in that show, particularly when it comes to all of the ink pads and uh, some of the Spectrum Noir products and of course we're here for the final show of the day which is beautiful beginnings and it does exactly what it says on the tin we've got some amazing products to bring you over the course of the next couple of hours um, and it's kind of like a bit of a back to basic show and it's also a great show I remember when we first launched the the show uh, a few months back lots of new viewers getting in touch asking those questions which perhaps you'd never dared ask before if you are new this evening first of all give us a little digital wave and go hello I'm new and also um, ask those questions if there's anything that you want to know not just about the goodies that we've got on this show but in general maybe you've just started crafting and you're a little bit stuck ask tonight because that for me is what this show is all about now not just me over the course of the next couple of hours I'm delighted to say uh, that my absolute fave is in the building and I tell you what if you've watched all of the shows today this morning you'll have seen her in outfit number one uh, Masterclass. I know, but I, I, I know Jamie's going, oh, you let it down, mate. You let it down. You said you were going to get changed, mate. I don't have any other costumes that are Christmassy. If I'd have known, if I'd have got the memo, I would have done it. But anyway, so she, that's a good point, actually. I did have two hours. I could have gone home. It's too busy, though, because Charlotte was chatting and then Debbie was chatting. And... But anyway, she had a second costume during uh, Masterclass a little bit earlier on. So here for the third show, in her third <laughs> costume, which I think potentially could be my favourite, is the lovely Debbie Robinson. Is that a Dalmatian? Um, yes, yeah, a little pooch. little Dalmatian. That's super little cute. little Christmasy one. I had this last year, Ben, me and you had a little photo together in our red jumpers together. Did we? But yes, I've made the effort. I'll tell you why. It's my last outing at Crafters TV until the new year. Aww. So that's why I thought I'll make the effort. And to be fair, I missed the memo about being festive since the beginning of December. <laughs> I, so I haven't been cutting anything festive and I'm thinking, why is everybody dressing in Christmas jumpers and Christmas? Then I realised I hadn't seen the email, so I thought I'd better make an effort so that I feel like I've been part of the festive team. So today, today that's why I've had three different tops on. Uh, but yeah, we've got a great show lined up for you. Yeah. And I am going to go back to basics and back to beginnings and, and showing you how to do things using some of these amazing products that we've got on the show. And we have got some amazing collections. We've got lots of starter kits. We've got some new items on the show as well. Uh, we've got the Angel Collection, one of my favourites. This is mm. one that I did this morning. But I absolutely love this Angel Collection. It's absolutely beautiful. It's divine. It's heavenly. And so many things that you're going to be able to do with these pieces that we've got in this new bundle for you, including the most amazing paper and cardstock. Um, some of our favourite frames that we've ever done. So we've got the fancy frames. Oh, yeah. um, I did one this morning using a picture of my little grandson. Um, this evening, I'm going to be doing a nice little scrapbook layout for you. Had to bring in the hotty Scotty himself because I love this picture of him with the little one. Um, and again, just showing you how you can turn these frames into um, brilliant ones for your photos, but also lots of other things as well, which we'll show you as we go along the show. And then if you caught me this morning, this was the one uh, with the um, door oh, reveal. door reveal, yeah. Yeah, so these are really funky kind of, and I've not opened this one because this is the one that I did. Oh. I didn't quite finish off, but you reveal. What does it say? Back of oh. that, so it's a little bee. So I thought with the sunflower and the bee, I thought, well, we'll keep Happy it nice and line. But honestly, these are great fun, great cards. Uh, for concepts, for messages that you might want to reveal underneath. Mm. And the ideal thing is, is obviously you'll cut it out, it'll be perforated. When you send it to your recipient, they are then going to have the fun of opening up each one of the little doors. I absolutely Aww. love this one. Aww. So and that, it's like a little matching game, that one. It too. is. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. I love these dies. Um, only got my hands on them recently because I've missed all the shows with them. Oh. I have, honestly, I don't know how I managed to miss them, uh, but I've been lucky enough to get my hands on them and have a play with them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Got some lovely things on the show. So make sure you grab yourself a cuppa and stay tuned for the next couple of hours. Absolutely right. And as always, get in touch with us. Let us know what you're up to. Uh, I want to know who's finished all of their Christmas shopping with 11 oh, days to go until the big day. <laughs> have I finished my Christmas shopping, Charlotte? 
Ah, I resent that <laughs> comment. She's just, she's just gone. She's just gone. As long as I finish your Christmas shopping, like that. I do my own Christmas shopping, thank you very much. Unlike my father, who basically just gives the money to my sister and then he, she just buys all of his gifts to give to everybody, which is lazy. I do all my own shopping. I'm almost there, Charlotte, actually. Um, no doubt once I've got everything wrapped. I did loads of wrapping, actually, the other day. Wrapping. And um, I've put all of the stuff, I've put all of the stuff under the, the, the tree. It looks great already, but I'll probably get a few more bits. Does anyone do that? You think you've done your Christmas shopping and then you end up buying more? Oh. Um, are you done with your shopping, uh, Debbie? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in a word. Kids. I've been fine. I've got all my grandkids' things, but I haven't done like my mum, my dad, my stepmom, my sister. The kids are getting money. That's every single year they get money. They just like the money to be able to spend yeah. and choose what they want. And I'm fine with that. I'm down with that. Usually dress it up though. Uh, but for the other adults in the family, no, I've not got anything yet. I know, and then we realised it's only a week on Sunday. A week Sunday. on Sunday. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Plenty yeah, of time. Grandkids are sorted. Yeah. Yeah, got loads of time. Yeah, loads no, of it's time. nice to buy for the littlies, isn't it? I was just saying that before, like, I miss my kids being of that age. Like, my son now, he is of the age of like, oh, I just want money. And it's just not <laughs> as much fun, is it? But anyway, uh, do let us know. Christine says she's not finished her shopping yet. Haven't started shopping yet, says Dale. Uh, Elizabeth says, I have, I have finished my Christmas shopping. Nice work. Um, let's say hello to Michelle Nitz for you. Says, hey all, good afternoon. Hey to Linda from Maryland. Hi to Mary from Maine and Karen from Kentucky. Hi to Anne Fleming Myers. She says, hi everyone from a very sunny day in Texas. Hi to Terry from Ohio. Hi to Kathy who says, hello, Ben Mosby and Debbie Robinson. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Kathy. Uh, hello, Crafting Peeps from Central Illinois. Uh, Jeffrey, Langley, Je Jeffrey Langley says, happy hump day. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting it's Wednesday. Oh yes. I keep thinking it's later on in the week than what it actually is. Uh, happy hump day, Ben and Debbie, and all the great <coughs> super CTV crew and folks here this evening. We've got uh, Jamie and Charlotte steering the good ship craft tonight. Uh, or Jamie goes, oi, oi, and Charlotte says, hey. And then we've got uh, Superstar Susie on the socials. Hi to Rhonda, who says, good day to everyone, good day to you. And Beth says, good afternoon from North Dakota. We're digging out from around a foot of very wet, heavy snow. On the plus side, our building was closed today, um, so can watch. Lovely to have you all with us. Um, just a few more comments and I'll get going. Uh, Barbara's done a Christmas shopping. Haven't bought a single gift yet. All finished Christmas cards, says Mary Reno. I'm on hiatus for a few days. What does that mean, hiatus? On like a break. Break? Uh, Terry says, I finished and wrapped everything last week. Next week will be the shop for the food. Uh, just two more stockings to embroider. And Charlotte Everett says, my Christmas shopping is done. It's just the wrapping and crafting now. Keep the comments coming through. Shall we get started on the Angel Collection? Now, I must just say, so this isn't the, um, the full set. However, you do get a lot of bang for your buck here. And there's two sort of different items. So the set I'm about to show you now, which will bring you all of the hardware and the, um, the paper and the cardstock included as well. Alongside in this bundle, you do get the downloadable 8x8 paper pad as well but it's a lovely collection um i think you know what if you haven't yet picked this up this is a great evening to grab it because for a bundle which should be nearly 113 pounds or 145 dollars look at the saving look at the platinum price and if you're thinking i don't think i've seen that price before you haven't it's the best ever price that we've done this collection for so please do not miss out and jamie's just telling me that there isn't a huge amount of this available so if you're liking that price today and you've waited to grab it then tonight is a really good option to do it it's such a lovely set and i remember when we uh launched this and had shows after it was all of that chat about there's not really any other collection quite like it out there you know you see lots of collections with your florals and things like your butterflies for example but an angel set i haven't seen anything quite like this personally and i think you get so much for your money take a look at some of the dies that you're going to get here this um heaven sent i mean how gorgeous is this you know if you want to create um things like your shakers for your box lids great to do with, um you know you like your paper piecing and all those kind of things just beautiful detailing that's stunning as well the heavenly blessings that's got more of a sort of a um stained glass effect i could yes. almost imagine that on a yeah. bit of acetate potentially yeah beautiful that one and then colored in the wings here as well i mean this die set almost makes the collection for me do you know how many times we, we have like sets where you can kind of manipulate the wings of the butterfly or a dragonfly out you can now do it with the angel wings i mean that in itself is an absolutely stunning die that you're going to get in this set you're also 
You're also going to get um, edibles in here as well. So you've got that eternal love with that uh, beautiful angel with the, the peace dove there. You've then got stamp and die sets included in here as well, the ethereal angel. So really beautiful stamps that you can use independently of the die should you wish. But then if you do decide to cut these out uh, to create a bit of um, dimension, you've got the dies to be able to do that. Uh, another stamp and die set, which is this uh, beautiful angel here with the, uh, the harp. Just imagine her sitting on her cloud and strumming the harp. You've even got um, a beautiful sentiments included in there as well. And talking of sentiments, you've got uh, one stamp set and then a stamp and die set. And these really are beautiful. Um, things like, you are a blessing. I believe in angels. Something good in everything I see. Did, the Westlife. Did they sing that when you went and watched them? Uh, oh, can't remember. Oh, I know I can't remember. Then we I went to see Westlife last ago. week. <laughs> I've slept since then. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in angels. You inspire me. That's you, Debbie. Aww. And faith tells me that no matter what lies ahead of me, angels are already there. You've then got a stamp and die collection, which is called Angel Kisses. So you've got that beautiful angel die there. Love that font. And then all of these other stamps to be able to build up your own little sentiment. So you've got Angel Kisses, Guardian Angel. You are my guardian angel. May there always be an angel. Angel pure and bright, guard me while I sleep tonight. Super cute, right? So all of that 58 quid or $74 if you're platinum. But then on top of that, you're also going to get... I thought this had gone. Paper I know. pad. I know. I don't know where they've gotten from. I They're don't know it. where they've gotten from. Because I'm I was pretty sure that this had disappeared. So please do take the opportunity to grab this collection. Just as I flick through as well, because I know Debbie is a huge fan of um, this particular collection. I think potentially one of the most beautiful yeah. paper pads we have ever done. And that it's, says a lot, doesn't it's it? It's gorgeous. It depicts all those lovely angel mm. scenes there, that lovely layering of text and and this scripture in the background upon those lovely i was saying to lily this morning got some shabby chic elements to yeah them. uh color palette is beautiful absolutely beautiful you can you can tell when our lovely fair joined the team because the paper pads have just excelled themselves in the last year yeah moved and up this a notch, is by they? no means any exception because it's absolutely stunning the oh oh i look i keep looking and thinking oh my god if you love scrapbooking if you love um, chopping down, taking elements from it. If you love stamping onto it, distressing onto it, inking onto it, which you can do, as we discussed earlier on that masterclass, this is going to be that paper pad that you can do all those techniques to as well. So it's really, really beautiful. And do you know what? There's so much detail. Again, you, you kind of delve into these. You've obviously got you know, the angel here. You've got the foliage. As you delve deeper into the background, you've got like the musical staves in there as well. You've got kind of like um, less sort of detailed impressions of angels, almost like stamped images running all the way through the paper. It is gorgeous. Double-sided, of course, as well. So um, this is included within the bundle, just to show you like the flip side of that too. So um, another great reason to jump on board. Like I said, I thought that that, that, that had gone. That we didn't have any more, but we found some more from somewhere. And then also in the set, you're going to get your luxury linen card included as well. Uh, 24 sheets of the, um, of the linen card. And again, you're getting these four beautiful colours with that uh, linen texture, which you'll really appreciate. I think more when you get home, it's always hard to kind of show this on camera, but all of the colours that you've got within your cardstock, 250 GSM, obviously are going to play very, very nicely indeed with the colours that you've got that run through your paper pad. On top of that, as I've said, within the collection, you will get your um, downloadable 8x8 pad as well, which again is a great thing because eventually when you do run out of your uh, consumables, once you've got that downloadable 8x8, you've got the ability then to be able to print that off uh, forever and a day. So that is a brilliant collection. What I would say to you is get it now whilst you can because we don't have a lot of stock. And if budget allows, you can also um, buy more of the, um, the cardstock individually. So do check that out on the uh, shop, the show page. But listen, a stunning collection. If you've already got this as well, by the way, and you want to share any of your finished projects with us, we'd love to show those over the course of the show. Uh, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk and we will show your makes. Right, let's get going with the first demo from this collection and you're going to use the angel wings. I am believing angels is the technical term for this one or, or the name that they've given this one. But this is a beautiful piece that, <coughs> 
excuse me, as you say, stays connected into cardstock, this yeah. pen. So I could just cut directly into that and those li those wings would lift up because just at the very top and at the very bottom, there's no die cut piece. So that bit means that you can cut into. So if you're making your gift boxes or your light up boxes, that's exactly what you're going to do. But I'm going to keep this really nice and simple. Um, you have a separate piece as well, so you can create a piece, which is what I'm going to do first, and then do a bit of inking onto it. But you can create your matte piece behind the back as well, which is what we're going to do. So first things first, I'm going to lay both of those down together. I'm going to hold it down with some low tack tape, and we're going to run that through our Gemini. And then we're just going to add some ink to it to colour it up. Nothing to stop you from, though, um, taking pieces out of the... the 12 by 12 pad or the linen pad if you wish to do so uh -huh. <coughs> i do apologize ben no you're fine this cough is really starting to irritate me again mm. i just can't seem to shake it it's doing the rounds all. isn't it these flus yeah. and colds and coughs yeah, and all sorts and flu I was, I was away to have my flu jab happened maybe a bit like covid yeah i was booked in to have my covid jab i had to cancel it for work and then got covid and now you've got to wait three months before you can have your COVID jab. Oh. And then, uh, same with flu, I'd booked in for the flu jab, and then I got flu before I <laughs> had the jab. So I'm like, has someone tried to tell me something here? So I had to wait now, I've got to wait for the flu. I can still have it, but I've got to wait a little a few weeks. I've got to be completely clear. And right now, it's taking some shifting, yeah. believe you me. So I missed, the, I missed your gig. No, you missed my gig. I was... I was I was gutted. Yeah, a bit gutted about that. Yes, but, me you know, too. Can't be helped though, can it? If you're not well. No, no. I couldn't have physically got in car and drove. Not in a month of Sundays. I were just laid flat on my back watching. In fact, I think I've been binge watched Two Doors Down. So Craig. Oh, has that's got me Craig's hooked. favourite TV show. Yeah, isn't it? Craig got me hooked. I binge watched that. What um, is that about? It's a Scottish comedy. Oh, right. It's quite funny. Is it? Elaine C. I think her name's Elaine C. Smith or something like that. I th oh, she's hilarious. Um, but we all know people like that on your streets. But I just absolutely, I, I love it. I think it was a, a, a really good. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I listened to his recommendation because I've really enjoyed it. But I've been binge watched all six series. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of um, being ill. Being ill. <laughs> You're lying down there and you've got much energy to do anything else. It's, that's that's the one. The one um, plus, shall we say. But yeah. yeah. I was gutted because I really wanted to see you and Sarah do your thing. Yeah. Your little, sh you know, your little show there and all your bits and your bobs that you did on stage. I do know that we had um, somebody recording. Did uh, you? On some of the later shows, whether it was the whole thing or not, I don't know. But if I get any footage. I will, oh. um, I will ping some your way. So do you mean like official recordings? Well, it was, it was official as in we knew that they were doing it. You know, it wasn't somebody there in the audience. Like, oh, right. Oh, that's why I was just checking. I thought, is it um, official? Like an so, official? Yeah, we've got like an official thingamabob. I won't say too much because I, I think potentially we might be doing like a little... Um, little mini sort of montage thing oh, that we wow, might be showing that's before wicked. Christmas time. So, oh, I'm really uh, excited then. If I get to see something, I'll, uh, I'll be really excited. Yeah, it was fun. It was oh, fun. I'm so glad you've had a lovely time, but I'm really pleased that you're back. Well, I'm pleased that I'm back, but I'm just disappointed. Well, it's nice for you, obviously, because you're off. I'm just disappointed I won't get to work with you again before Christmas. I know. It was the same with Debbie yesterday. That was Debbie's yeah. last day yesterday. Yes, before yeah, because Debbie's son's coming over and yeah. her grandson, so... And I know that, because um, she's a bit under weather herself, bless her, but she's wanted to get herself all sorted before they come over because, mm. I, I mean, I know, I know how much I love spending time with my grandkids. For Debbie's not even to be on this side of the world. Not seen him for three years, I think No, said. I'd be, uh, I know modern technology is fabulous. It's not, it doesn't. But it doesn't it's make up for the real life cuddles yeah. and the time spent with them. So I'm so pleased that they're coming over. I think it's mm. going to be lovely for her. I just hope she gets better soon. Well, I think she, she's still got another 10 days, hasn't she? So she thankfully has. she's, I mean, this is the nicest way. Thankfully she's ill now. Yes. So then by 10 days time, she should be right as rain, hopefully. Yeah, absolutely. Fingers crossed. Now, I'm just taking out all my little pieces. I've took, I've took time with that one, Ben, only because it's got some lovely, delicate features. The wings themselves, you can see, I've kept it on the skeleton part because I want to stick that down to um, a piece that I'm going to do in a moment. But I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring. And I've got my little bit of scrap paper that I'm just going to place underneath the wings. And I'm going to use colours that are... Um, so the piece that I've chosen is um, one of those gorgeous pieces. I've just gone round the edge in, distressed round the edge in with my grasshopper. Mm. And I'll, I'll just touch a little bit more. But I love the imagery that you get. This is just stunning. 
and so I'm going to make that a focal part with those uh, an addition so I'm going to choose colors then so this pinks and greens which is why I've gone for a pink tulip and for grasshopper in our water reactive range Do you know what the the, the, the images that you've got on here um, the, the, I'm not like over egging the pudding here, but they, they remind me of some of the images that you see in like, you know, famous chapels and churches that oh, have yeah. like beautiful ceilings and that. Yeah. They're, like the, the artwork and the imagery I think is that good. Um, I, I just think it's an absolutely um, stunning paper pad, one of the best that we've ever done. Just to quickly tell you whilst um, we're just watching Debbie here, we, I mean, I thought we probably had maybe 60, 70, 80 of these bundles. We've got less than 20 available. And whilst oh. I know a lot of you uh, have already got this collection, for those that haven't, I know I saw a comment from Mary who said, um, I would love to buy this. Very uplifting sentiment. Get it this oh, yeah. evening. It's the best deal that we've done on this collection. Um, and like I said, you've got less than 20 opportunities to, to jump in and buy it. I've never seen a collection quite like this, Debbie, either. It's, it's a bit of a one of a kind, really, isn't it? It is one of a kind. It's, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the difference with that little bit of ink. Yeah. As made, just lifting there. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. But yeah, this is a collection that I think will resonate with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, in terms of like occasions, this, this is going to be one of those that is going to cover quite a few occasions. But I was saying to Lily this morning, it's one of those collections that as well um even if you just want to, to let people know that you're in the thoughts yeah um whatever you know whether it be for christenings whether it be for sympathy cards which we know none of us like making but we have to cover them sometimes mm. so it's it's a really beautiful collection but i think there's so many different ways that you're going to be able to use this yeah in terms of um all the occasions that you're going to you know, uplifting quotes and things like that. And it's just sometimes we're so focused on birthdays and anniversaries and weddings and all those kind of things that we forget about. Sometimes just sending some something to someone, an uplifting quote with a beautiful imagery um, like you've got in these. Um, and just because you can. Of course you can, When you've got yeah. gorgeous collections like this. Mm. So literally, that's just lifted. I'm going to keep my scrap paper. I always have a little piece of scrap paper just for underneath there. But I'm just going to take, excuse me again. <coughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of the linen card. Now, what did I do with the die? I'm going to create myself a little mat for the outside. Um, and I'm going to stick those two pieces together. So this is a really simple, very easy to achieve look. Um, but looks really quite effective, especially when you choose your colours around your papers and things like that. I'm just going to run that through. There we go, let me just pop that on. And then, what have I done with my little plates? I think I found them. Here they are. There we go. Let's Whilst you're uh, running that through, uh, Colette is saying, Ben, I agree, the papers are exquisite. Uh, Shari Boy saying, I love the wings. Watching Debbie always makes me want the collection. Um, and Colette says, hey all, or hello all. I love this angel collection. I hope to play with it soon. Um, and Christine Mahoney says, I love all the paper pads. That's not like you to like the paper pads, Christine. Do you like paper pads? I didn't, did you know that? Oh, Christine, she loves the paper pads. I, know that. I would have never guessed. Would have never guessed. <laughs> <laughs> that did let me chuckle. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, dear. So I've got my wings yep. ready then to attach on the back. And that's just giving it that little lift as well. So I'm going to bring in my uh, tacky glue. Mm -hmm. um, you can use anything for uh, the back of there, but I'm just going to, because I want my wings to lift, I'm just going to push them to one side and then I'm just going to stick the body down and then what I call, we call it the skeleton. So it's the bit that holds the uh, whole shape together. So many different ways though, because we split it into two dies, yeah. it gives you lots of different options in how you can use this die, which as a crafter always appeals to me. Um, but again, it's just a lovely, lovely um, imagery on this one. So I'm just going to hold that down and match that up now and line it up alongside. Let's just make sure I've got that right. There we go. Come on, Debbie. In fact, I might just pick it up, make it easier for myself. Yeah. Um, Mary's just saying, using the wings like a stencil for the negative image is really beautiful as well. Yes. Uh, and Fred says, the wings with a photo of a pet makes a great sympathy card for the loss of a furry oh. loved one. Said that. That was Fred one seven one. Oh, Fred! That's such oh, a lovely idea, days. that isn't it? That is lovely. What a lovely idea. A picture. Oh, 
Oh, getting all welled up thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I am getting you? a bit welled up thinking about it because that is just be what a beautiful idea. Thank you for sharing that because yeah. I've never even thought of that. That is absolutely yeah. a beautiful Such idea. Such a great idea. Absolutely. So you can see now that that has got those liftable elements to it. So I'm just going to put that to one side because I'm just going to bring in my card base. And I've gone quite large with this one because I wanted that paper to really shine. Um, I've actually just taken a little bit out using my, do you know my Violet Studios um, paper trimmer? Oh, yeah. I can go in and create oh, yeah. a border. So, yeah, so uh, that paper trimmer's been... That's an awesome bit of kit, that, isn't it? Odd send for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Um, because it's helped me with doing things like this. Normally, I'd get a craft knife and a ruler, um, which is fine if you, that's what you want to do. Have I dried up? Oh, we have, look. It's this heat in this temperature in this room again, Ben. So I'm just going to pop that down. But it's just, instead of wasting all of that cardstock underneath... Mm. Um, this is what you can do. So you can take it and gut, gut that. Want of a better word? I can't think of a better word. One gut of these days, that. I'm going to find a better word. Um, um, and I'm just giving that that frame. So this is a really large card. I've gone with a nine by seven card because uh, I want this to be a big statement piece. Because I do want that gorgeous. And I've taken one of those twelve by twelve sheets, cut it down, and then taken the ink distresser, uh, dressing tool and taken my ink and gone around just to lift that up and I've just literally tickled it around the edges using that same colourway. So that's got to sit into the um, centre of that and that's, I've not wasted all that cardstock. Difficult piece here is, is which one do you take, yeah. which side do you use of your piece of paper because it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The imagery is, mm -hmm. this would have been right up my Auntie Jean Street, God oh, bless her soul, she bless. would have loved this collection. Yeah, yeah. She'd have bought it by the bucket load and that paper pad, I think she'd have given Christine a run for her money because she <laughs> absolutely loves or loved things like this, yeah. she really did. Now the Angel and the stamp set is a really nice sized die and then you've got all these to uh, create the sayings. There's so many different things. So you could put you are an angel mm -hmm. out um so angel and they can then put is near when feathers appear oh feathers appear when an angel is near, is near. yeah or an angel by your side uh, an angel to watch over you um i've gone with this one here because i love this one so say? i've gone with in the house they say will guard your family night and day well it makes sense when you pop it together so an angel in the house, they say, will guard your family night and day. Aww, Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So I've just run that through with that textured cardstock. I've actually run it through um, onto some white cardstock as well because I'm going to do a little bit of a, a drop shadow technique. But yeah, it's a lovely set, that of sentiments, and then that lovely die as well. And you just run that through your machine the same way that you've seen me do uh, the angel wings and pop that in. So we'll just compose this and pop this together. So I'm going to place this onto here alongside the lovely imagery. I think I'm going to use some foam pads. So let me bring in, now then, what have I done with my foam on a roll? Where is it? Somewhere in here. What on earth have I done with it? Do you know I had it a minute ago, Ben? Let me just well, go and have a quick peek. That's all right. You have a little look. Um, must say hi to Deanna, talking of who's done their Christmas shopping. Have you finished yours? Deanna says, I love the, I love the fact that you're so precise. 97% done. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other 3%? Oh, you say, just need a few gift cards, some bottles of wine, and one or two more gifts for my hubby after payday, Friday, and all done. It's getting to that point then now, isn't it? It's like Debbie was saying, like, it's scary to think that Christmas Day is a week on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so it, it will be it will be here before you know it um who else has been in touch mary beth door says hi again everyone from minnesota just got my internet connection back but 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 <laughs> back um shari says love the wings watching debbie always makes me want this collection and hi to lillian quack who says hello debbie and ben i knew i'd forgotten someone hello ah had you forgotten to say hello? She'd for I think she'd been saying hello to everybody else in the I chat. I forgot to say to us. Yeah, and oh, then forgot to say hello to us. Don't, don't forget us. If you're a newbie as well and you're watching for the first time, feel free to say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. I know you'd seen the lots of people on tour, hadn't you, that had said that they didn't know we, we, we yeah. uh, existed, which... I keep forgetting new people are joining the channel all the time. We keep yeah. forgetting, which is why I think it's nice to have uh, the Beautiful Beginning Show once a week um, because of that reason, because 
we just take it for granted that everybody knows yeah, exactly about right. us, that everybody knows about craft. Yeah. We take it for granted. We should never take anything for granted. Um, so literally, this is a really ideal time to be having these kind of shows. Yeah. Now, I'm going to yes. just pop these two together. So I think I'm going to have it, the green on top of the white. So let me just take that off for a second. Um, I've just done this through my Xyron machine, which is a, a, a almost like a sticker machine, but it's a double, it's um, adhesive glue that you yeah. can pop on. So I'm just going to give that that little drop shadow with the white underneath, and then I'm going to pop my angel on. I'm going to try and position this away from that because I don't want to ruin that beautiful picture. I'm like, I'm, de I'm debating. Shall I? In fact, I tell you what, I'll go there. If I go in the centre part, because I don't talk away from it then, it's just going across there. And then literally pop my sentiment on. It's quite a nice collection that you could use this time of year as well, isn't it? Yes. Think? Yeah, like absolutely. Christmas cards. Absolutely. And then I'm just going to pop that into that corner. And I've just done a slight bit of matting and layering. All I've done with this is stamped in the house, they say, well, God, your family night and day. Pop that green and then some white. Again, matching all the kind of the theme tone running through there just to bring that through. Now, I was going to add a couple of little gems onto there, but I'm, do you know what? Yeah, go on. I'll do a couple. Let's pop a little couple into the uh, corner. What so are you doing, gems? On. Just a couple, she says. <laughs> this, is, this is me and my couple. That's six. I, I, no, I know this is my problem. What is a couple in my head? A couple in my head should be two. Uh, it turns out it's six. <laughs> I'm just going to bring me gems Three in. couples, as Jamie just said. <laughs> How what many? Do you, three couples. Three couples. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you class as a few? A few? Is that, would you say a few is... Uh, probably, more than yeah, four, Yeah, I would says. probably say six or seven or eight. Oh, a few. would you? Yeah, what would you class as a few then? I don't know really, I just, it's always confused me, the w like, you know, grab me a few. Someone says, oh, just gra grab us a few of those. It's like, what, how many is a, f is a few? Is there like a specific number? So, you, you know, you've obviously got your couple, grab us a dozen, but grab us a few. Let us know if anyone knows the definitive answer. <laughs> so that's just added a little touch there. But again, I've kept it really simple um, to start with uh, because... The collection itself, the papers, the dyes in there, the stamps in there, all brought together can make some mm. really stunning pieces with this. And you don't have to be over elaborate. You don't have to do your fancy folds. This is a straightforward fold that measures nine by seven. So it's quite a fairly biggish card. Um, and then you've got those lovely liftable wings at the side. Absolutely adore this collection beyond. So it's just, it, or it's just. I can't tell you how much joy I've had working with it. Uh, and I know that that will be the same for you when you get this collection home as well. But you're going to have to be quick if you do want to get it because we don't have a lot of stock, um, which seems a bit funny, really, seeing it's kind of like the highlight item for the show. Less than 20 opportunities to grab it. I realise that the majority of you have already bought the collection. If you haven't, you've got an absolute steal tonight. This, this should be over £112. It should be almost $145. You're picking it up for 58 quid tonight if you're platinum, $74.40. Um, and you're getting everything thing that I'm showing you here so this is the die that Debbie just used on the last card there so that beautiful angel die and then all of the stamps for you to build up your own sort of bespoke sentiment if you like so you've got um, guardian angel uh, you are my guardian angel sweet little angel there's tons in there you can make your own sentiments up for your various cards and projects you then get a stamp set again with loads more different sentiments on there I believe in angels you are a blessing you inspire me and loads more stamp and die sets you get in here as well so this one is the uh, beautiful angel with the uh, with the heart there again lovely images for you to just stamp out and color if you want to just do that but you also get the dies then to be able to cut out your images as well next up is your ethereal angel so that's that beautiful uh, praying angel with the peace dove and the feather there as well again you get the dies to be able to cut out the images those do come with little sentiments for you as well lovely little legible included in there as well with that eternal love really really beautiful detail in all of these dies i mean come on again how stunning is that believe in angels that's the one that debbie's just literally used to create that last card absolutely stunning not seen a die quite like that before but it's included within the collection alongside the final two dies that we've got here so this one is called heavenly blessings it's got a real sort of um, churchy feel to that one stained glass window again I could, I could almost imagine that maybe just being uh, cut out popped onto some acetate and then maybe colored in potentially well yeah if you did want to do some paper piecing with that you could and then finally you've got your heaven sent 
Again, really nice um, die set there, maybe to create your own sort of uh, aperture, maybe a little shaker card, whatever it might be. All of that is the hardware that that is included. For £58.40 or £74.40 if you're platinum, you will then, of course, get on top of that uh, your paper included in there as well. So your 12 by 12 paper pad, you're going to get the luxury cardstock in there as well, that linen cardstock. And you also get the 8 by 8 downloadable um, paper pad included too. So whilst you will obviously work your way through these, uh, you will have that 8x8 downloadable paper pad to use well for as, for as long as you want really. As long as your printer's working, you've got papers, you can simply just um, download that whatever you want to use it. So a lovely collection. £58.40, $74.40, less than 20 opportunities to buy that set. Now, if you perhaps have already got the Angel Collection, or maybe you're looking at this tonight and think, well, actually, I'd like to get some more uh, of the Luxury Mixed Card, you can do that as well, because we've popped two lots of the Mixed Card into uh, another bundle. So 48 sheets in total there, uh, saving 15%. Should be £30, $40. Twenty-five pounds or thirty-three dollars tonight, and that platinum price comes down further to twenty pounds or twenty-six dollars forty. So always worthwhile, kind of revisiting and getting this now if you've already got the Angel Collection. If you're buying the selection that we've got tonight and you want to make it go further, get that into your basket as well, because uh, you will definitely thank us later. Uh, Anne Myers has been in touch to say I've been crafting most of my adult life, and I learn something new every show I watch with all of you. Well, that's great news. Um, it's it's always good to learn, isn't it? They say every day is a school day. Uh, Debbie Cantwell says I've done my Christmas shopping except for buying three lottery scratch-off tickets for stocking stuffers. I do that as well actually. I think it is a good idea Charlotte isn't it? Buying a little lottery ticket as a little um, as a little Christmas gift. But that, that, that is the only thing though isn't it? Is if you buy a ticket for somebody and then they win <laughs> the jackpot. You'd that is a good point, Charlotte. She said, if you buy a ticket for them, then you're going to like them enough for them to win the, the jackpot. Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing that this year with my crackers, you see. Cra making me own crackers and then putting a little lottery ticket inside the crackers. Because crackers generally are pretty naff, aren't they? When you buy the crackers, then you, I mean, you get the, the joy of the bang and you get the, you get the hat and you get the, you know, the, the, the sort of naff joke in there, like one of the jokes that I would tell. And then you, all right, Charlotte. <laughs> Did you? She just said, they're going to be naff jokes if you make them. Not as bad as the joke you told me before the show. Um, that's one for another day. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not telling that joke. It's a little bit rude. Um, <laughs> I can't do it, Charlotte. I can't, no, I can't do that. No, I can't. I also don't think it will work because the, the punchline, I don't think the word in the punchline is a word that our American viewers use. But they won't get the joke. No, but they won't get the joke. Will they? If they don't, if they don't know that word. Anyway, sorry. It's like I'm talking to myself. Charlotte's just. Um, sorry. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Hero tour. We're going to look at. I've just looked at a few more comments coming through. Um, a few usually refers to three or more, says Elizabeth. Uh, and I use few, more than two, but less than a dozen, says Anne Fleming Myers. Webster says a small number of. All right. So yeah, more than a couple, less than a dozen. Uh, let's have a look at the hero tool this evening. It's your eight by eight paper taker uh, totally tiffany paper taker uh, these are absolutely brilliant because of course they are well not only a great way for you to transport bits and bobs around with you but they're a bit of a space saver as well for you because you can um, pop your bits and pieces away in these label them all up you've got the label on the uh, the side and on the top there clear so you can see what's in them and they're white clean as well you will pop these together when you get these home you have to assemble them it's fairly simple to do um, and then you can keep all of your eight by eight um, uh, papers in here and of course they're slightly bigger than eight by eight so that you're not kind of squashing your um, your bits and pieces within these now you can buy extra for this uh, little tabs so uh, potentially if you've got projects that you're working on or maybe you've got some uh, sheets of older paper pads left in them that you want to kind of slot away you can do that and label them up uh, I do know that Jamie I'm just about to get onto that god they're non-stop in the gallery tonight honestly <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear I've done me breast I've done me prep I've done me I know <laughs> let me let me I'll, I'll, let me feign surprise so you're going to get the paper tape for £28. To <laughs> What's that, Jamie, you say? <laughs> you get everything inside the paper taker as well, all the paper pads and the vellum. Wow. That was terrible, that, wasn't it? You get, 
<laughs> I'm, only, I'm only playing. No, you do. You get all three of these included as well. So you're going to get 24 sheets of the uh, Dancing Dragonflies uh, vellum. You're also going to get the 24 sheets of your uh, luxury foil card. So this is the, um, it's, it's difficult to kind of show you, unless Charlotte gets it really close, but you can do your um, resist effect on these. Really fun just applying a little bit of ink to them um, to create some really gorgeous scenes. It's 24 pages, I think. Yeah, six designs, four of each you're going to be getting in there. But there's dragonflies. You've got um, beautiful sort of um, weeping willows in there as well. There's loads. So you've got um, that included. And then on top of that, you've also got our Everyday Scenes paper pad from one of our... Um, year of crafts isn't it this one this is fantastic as well because you've got lots of different designs you've got kind of like your gingham prints you've got your squiggles in there you've got those sort of um, faux watercolor backgrounds you've got your um, rainbows in there too in lots of different colors it's just a real look at that that's absolutely beautiful that would work quite nicely with um, your angel collection actually it's got that sort of ethereal effect to it hasn't it but basically uh, it's a really nice usable paper pad that you can use for sort of all occasions and all year round so that's included that's included that's included and you need somewhere to pop them yes you do get them all in your eight by eight paper taker as well that is tonight's hero tool uh, the hero tool by the way is here while stocks last or for a 24 hour period so if you like the look of that then do not miss out 28 pounds or 36 dollars right we are going to take a short little break now give you opportunity to check out your baskets if you're going for that angel selection remember less than 20 of those available so get that checked out as a matter of urgency and whilst you head to the checkouts let us find out more about everybody's favorite crafty scotsman in fact i think probably everybody's favorite scotsman just in general mr Cleeg laird My name's Craig Laird, I work at Crafters Companion. I am a craft expert where I get to play with lots of crafty goodies from Crafters Companion and hopefully we're here to inspire you with lots of crafty things that you can do. So my crafting journey, that started many, many years ago, actually just over 20 years ago. I actually came across crafting on uh, UK Shopping TV. I, uh, I was unwell at the time and I was just channel surfing, just uh, having a look to see what was on TV and then I came across who has now become my friend Dawn Bevy and I thought, oh, I quite like that bit of crafting that she's doing. I purchased some crafty goodies and before you know it, here I am, all these years later, uh, doing what I'm doing with Crafters Companion. So believe it or not, none of my family or friends are actually very creative. So the creative side in me has actually just progressed naturally. As I have progressed, I've become really good friends with many craft experts out there in the industry and they're the ones that inspire me. Then coming to Crafters Companion, Crafters TV and interacting with all the crafters at home, seeing what they make. I am a huge, huge advocate for social media because you get to see lots of things that everyone makes at home and that does inspire me as well. Many years ago, before I started here at Crafters Companion, believe it or not, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't go out a lot, I didn't do much. Now, with Crafters Companion and Crafters TV it's given me so much confidence self-belief my biggest crafting success I'm gonna to have to pick two one of them is appearing on HSN America I was really really lucky a couple of years ago to actually go to Florida with Sarah to see how it all works behind the scene an incredible juggernaut that these shop on TV is at HSN that for me is an incredible proud moment I will never ever forget when all of you incredible crafters at home uh, voted enough for me to be in the running of the 2021 Male Craft Personality of the Year was such a humbling feeling. I was so, so proud. I was so grateful. Our Crafter TV audience are absolutely incredible. For me personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers and the support that I get. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise, but if you just want that interaction, you just want to have that chat away about anything random in life on a social media, on a crafters TV, you know that you're going to get that support, you're going to get that understanding when it comes to the crafters at home.
Um, welcome back, everybody. Well done to those of you who checked out your baskets during that little break. Uh, Michelle, it's for you on YouTube. Says, what size was that card that Debbie made? Nine by seven was the last card. Um, hi to <laughs> Freddie. Says, we Americans are more aware than you may think. Tell the joke. I can't tell the joke because it's rude. No, I'm not telling it, Charlotte. I'm not telling it. No, Charlotte, you won't come out there and tell it. I'll put. Uh, no, no, Charlotte, I'm not telling it. I'm not telling it. No. No, it's rude. Thank you, Debbie. It's rude. Tell Jamie the joke. Um, oh, hello, says Panda Crafts. I've just noticed you, Ben. Hello. Sorry, just watching whilst I ate pizza for my tea at work on silent. Um, are you glad to be back working? I am. Do you know what? It's kind of one of those things where I enjoyed the tour a lot. I really, really enjoyed it. But then I missed work and now I'm back here. I'm really enjoying being back with me. Um, but I, I do miss the tour a little bit, but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get to do that again next year. Um, hi to Anne, he says, I think Charlotte missed you, Ben. She is for sure chatting with you a lot today. I think she missed me as well. I think she did miss me. She did tell me, she did tell me. And she is very chatty today and very, I think she's just happy I'm back. I think generally most people are. Yes, absolutely. Oh, we miss you, Ben. It's oh. so lovely. It's been lovely having you back. I was a bit, no, I wasn't worried, but like when I came back in yesterday, I was a little bit, it's been so long since I've been there, I just thought maybe people would be a bit like, oh, <laughs> not him again. And I, and I was a bit like, oh, I haven't done this for so long. It was a bit scary to oh, be back. It's lovely to have you back in the heart of the building. Well, it's nice to be back here with you all. Uh, Anne says, hello, Ben, good to see you back. They're just checking whether that joke is tellable. I might do it towards the end of the show. Jamie thinks it is. <laughs> what do you think, Debbie? Nope. It's not, is it? Nope. It's not. Nope. I want to come back at New Year. Huh? I don't want to be part of it. It's do it when I've gone. <laughs> I don't think it's funny enough to have the danger of telling it that I might get told off in the morning. So, uh, <laughs> Charlotte, you would think it's hilarious because it's your joke. Let's move on, and I might put it on my socials later on. Right. The uh, door reveal stamp, to be honest with you, uh, <laughs> worst things have been said on this channel accidentally. Uh, the door reveal stamp and die collection. So 18 dies, 12 stamps in total you're going to get here. This is a brilliant price tonight. I think this is another one actually, just checking my notes. I'm sure it is. Is this another best ever price deal? Yeah, it is. Another best ever price, he's done his research. Uh, 27 quid, $31. So you're saving 11.97 or $13.85. Platinum price is 21 pounds 60 or $24.80. You get the three different designs, different size dies within each of them to be able to create that really cool effect of, um, well, having that little door that you can have. And it's so clever for the fact that it cuts in the perforations for you. Like all the hard work again is done via the dies. Um, so this one is of course your, um, your rectangle. The little stamps that you get are um, tear here and open here. <laughs> um, you've then got this one, um, which is the little, well, the circle, I suppose really, isn't it? Let's take it, if you put it that way, let's take a little tea cozy. Um, and also that one comes with your stamps as well. And then you've also got within the collection your square. I just think, I know Advent, we're obviously within Advent now, but it's the kind of thing, isn't it, that you could create your own little Advent calendar with. Um, the kind of thing, again, that you can, you know, put, you can put whatever you want behind the doors, can't you? Whether it be, as we saw with Debbie earlier on, little characters, little messages, maybe little photos you could pop behind these as well. You know, there's plenty of um, stamps out there that you could kind of reveal your own little message with. I mean, there's nothing to stop you as well. Nothing to stop you, um, you know, writing your own funny little message behind there as well. And yet, actually, if you added like a bit of depth and dimension between, like, between these as well, I kind of think in my own mind that you could almost pop little chocolates behind them potentially, a bit of money behind them if you wanted to do that. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. I just think it's a really cool set. And for that price today, £21.60, $24.80. Oh, for yeah. all of them? Yeah. Why didn't I see that this morning? I know. I just think that's God, a... Blimey. It's a really unique set of dies yep. that I think you all use often when you see how easy it is to create with them. Because... You can use these for all sorts of things, can't Absolutely. you? How much fun are you going to have? Yeah, um, and real fun with these. Yeah. Because you've got that element of surprise. You're giving them a... It could be a gift, because it can come in a gift box. I'm going to do a gift box later on uh, in the show. 
but you could be doing it as a gift box and then you can be telling them to lift here or tear there or whatever it is that you need to do i love the sizes so you've yeah. got all the, from the smaller ones to the medium size to the large ones on there um, and you can really have a lot of fun now a lot of our samples have already been opened um they weren't initially when they first came to us it's just we've had the fun of opening them up but this is what you could be doing, taking it into a card, then dropping down a little message. It could be absolutely anything you want to say. We've just used some of our stamps in these, but it could be a message to someone. Yeah. It could be underneath, there could be a little gift card underneath there. Open here and they open that door up to get that lovely reveal. It could be something in your Christmas. This one I don't think has been opened, Ben. <gasps> that one's not been opened. I'll, I'll save that one. Don't do it. No, Open it. No, no, Why no, not? no, no. I'm going to be then. good. I'm going to be good. Can I do it? You can try, yeah. Absolutely. You need muscles of steel with that one, I think, though. Uh, but again, you can have a play. This one's a gorgeous one with a door. Look at this, how they've this, created this door using one of those. And then, welcome home. How gorgeous is that? So there's some really lovely ones that you can do. And you can take things in your own collections, in maybe the older dies, have your happy birthday sentiment on there and then have your little door underneath so you've got that lovely reveal. Always make sure you use one of those stamps so that your recipient knows what they're doing and then open that up and reveal the message that you want to say underneath. I just think these are fabulous. Have you got any? I don't remember the, top, the bottom one. I've, <laughs> the bottom one I've done. I've just chucked some up floor. It says happy holidays in the bottom one. That one's been stuck down really well, actually. You're kidding. Oh, That's no. why I, I couldn't get into oh, it. I've That's why it. I've got it. Shall I open it? So. it. in. What should, be, what should be a disappointment? What's inside? Yeah, What's inside? Oh, oh, look, oh sorry, where are you? Up. Are you there? Yeah, there. Sorry, Where's sorry. Number four? Sorry. It Number says... Four? There you go, yeah. Don't tell the joke, Ben. No, it says... <laughs> oh, it's a li look! Oh, it's a little Christmas man in there! Little Christmas oh. man? Is it a Christmas man? It's a snowman. Oh, it's a snowman! Why does it <laughs> <I> keep going? <laughs> That's definitely a snowman, isn't it? I keep saying Christmas man. It is a snowman. I don't know what's up with me. Christmas man. Christmas Look, man. and that one says, Happy holidays. Oh, I love that. Is there another one? The rest is another one. Open. Is that one as well? Mm. Oh, wow. Look, come on, you've got to get this. This is the fun thing about this collection. Uh, can you get in? Do you need a poker tool? I might do, yeah. Yeah? Let me grab my po Uh oh, there it is. We'll use that one. Oh, yeah. Just get your feet, feet under there. Don't look at the state of my uh, poker tool, will you? Thank you. It's a bit. It's a bit dirty. Oh, I love, I love this. Look at this. So this is a really cool way oh, that you can I do love things. It. it could be a little gift, um, a gift card inside that middle one. Yeah. Uh, but that's a lovely one because they've used uh, all the different doors. They've used all three doors on there. Yeah. So they've used the curve, they've used the square, they've used the rectangle. And and what you could do, like you could, like if you want to propose to somebody, yes. you yeah. could do like a. You're pausing. <laughs> will you? Again, I am already married, so yeah. Will you... TTV wife. Oh, that's Thank what I mean. You. Yeah, we'll let you off. We'll let you off. Will you marry me? Oh, yeah. isn't that lovely? Mm. Oh, you hope romantic. Is that how you propose to Laura? No. No? No. What a great idea. It is a great idea. <laughs> it is a great idea. I do like that quite a lot. You're going to have to share how you propose to Laura now because the, you're making it It was really, it wasn't very good. Was it not? Well, what happened What, what happened was, so she, I knew the engagement ring that she wanted, so I bought it. I thought I'd tuck it away. I, I wasn't sort of ready to propose, so I thought I'd have it there for when I was. <gasps> Guess where I hid it? Where? In my sock drawer. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> Don't tell me she found it. She found it. Oh, no. And so then I was under pressure. Well, not under pressure, but I kind of felt like I've got to do it now because she knows that it's there and she really liked it. So um, <laughs> I, I, I waited and waited and like sort of special events went by and birthdays and whatnot. And then I didn't do it. And then um, I took her out on our anniversary of meeting and was going to propose and I didn't do it. And then the next day I went back into work and everyone was like, oh, you didn't do it. Oh, you bottled it kind of thing. So I was like, right, I'll show you guys. So I got on the phone and I rang up Interflora. Oh, you and, big old and I said it, and I said it, No, I think that's rubbish. And I, said, and I sent her flats and flowers to her workplace saying, will you marry me? Oh. And I think that's rubbish. Oh, no, I think that's lovely. Can you imagine the surprise when she opened that mm -hmm. up? And imagine having one of these mm -hmm. and being able to do that with your interflora flowers and sending your, sending your card at the same time. I love that idea. Oh, I think that's really sweet. Do you know what the worst thing was about that day, though? Is well, that she then obviously rang me up and went, oh, that's really sweet, and yes, of course I will. <laughs> that night, we went back, and her mum was at our house, and she made me get down on one knee in the <laughs> kitchen in front of her mum. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, yeah. I just said to that one. 
<laughs> so that's what I mean. It's a bit, it's a bit rubbish. But aren't these cool? They are. You they could are. have done that. You could have that done would have that been much better if I'd done that. Yeah, absolutely. They're really good fun. Mm. And I'm going to show you just how easy they are to use as well. Love that story. That it's amazing story she's still with me 21 years later, I isn't it? I think that's a lovely. I Do think you? that's still romantic as well. And I think that's nice. I'm not going to say about the making you get down on the one knee bit. <laughs> that was just yeah, cruel. <laughs> so, yes, I'm going to use the, and I'm going to use the curved one. I love these. Um, and you can see the different si sizes that you've got there. Let's let go there. Yeah. So, you've got the large one, and then you've got the mat. So, you can actually do a little piece with your mat layer as well. Uh, the medium sized one's got its own mat, as has the small one as well. So, the little small one, too, has got the piece what's going to do with the perforation, <laughs> but it's only going to perforate. This is the little bit that it's going to cut because it stops. Cuts, stops, cuts, yeah. stops. So it's got that lovely perforated edge. And then that's the little piece that I'm going to use for the mat. So I've definitely gone in with the smaller, smallest of the ones. I've taken a piece of cardstock. This is um, eight by eight in size. And I've just scored it down the centre at four to create a nice four by eight. And then got a little bit of matting and layering for uh, on the top. And then the mat and layer size is just a quarter of an inch in. So it's seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. And that fits perfectly over there. I've actually taken, because I've got some already, um, I've, got, I've done a couple of good luck ones underneath. Yeah. So I've already used the car, the, well, the paper. I actually think that's the paper from the, um, for the bundle in that paper stack. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure it is, you know, or is, is this from the library? Isn't that from um, Enchanted It's the Enchanted Dreams, Dreams. but it's only the one-sided one. So I think it's from the, do you know what? I think it's, no, it's not. It's from the Enchanted Dreams. Yes. You're right. You are good at this. Get, get, get. Even though you've been away a month. I know. You come back and you nailed that right on it's the like head. It's like riding a bike, isn't it? It is Never absolutely forget. is. So I've just stamped good luck on both the top and the bottom because what I'm going to do next is take my white piece of cardstock. Um, I've already put myself a couple of little uh, pencil ma marks on there, but all I'm going to do is take the largest of the one mm. and I'm just <laughs> going to show you. I'm going to position one into that top corner. I'm not going to do anything with this just yet because I'm going to use that to create the matte pieces and we're going to go in... And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stick that down. What are you laughing at? Anyway, Zoe Carver says I'm gonna say it because everyone's thinking it, and I know why Debbie's laughing. And Charlotte's just <laughs> Charlotte's just said it in my ear. Oh, she just said it in my ear. That's why I let me giggle. This is Zoe Carver's words, not mine. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you for your message. Oh no, <laughs> Debbie's gonna use the booby dye. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I, well, I, I think it's a tea, I, the tea cosy. I remember, I remember a little bit of sniggering from the hottest Scotty himself. I do. From when he was doing the boards. Yeah, I was producing that show. Was you that day? Yeah, I was, was producing. You, I bet you really, <laughs> I bet you went to town with him. I said nothing. He just made himself <laughs> laugh. Can you imagine me winding Craig up to make him laugh? He just saw that shape himself and made himself have a giggle. Well, so childish. Why like such a, such such a, a such child, a, isn't he? Such a child. I know, Zero it's terrible, dear. isn't it? Immature. <laughs> to the bottom part as well where my little pencil mark is yeah now you'll see with the da it's just lifted this little bit so it gives you that starting point <laughs> it gives you <laughs> it is a starting point <laughs> <laughs> to tear it open <laughs> what did you say the starting point to tear it open oh, to <laughs> to <laughs> to tear it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all such children in this building. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh my God! Oh, 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 that shape. Are you going to titivate it? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> pull it back, Ben, pull it back. <laughs> uh, hey. Oh, hey, hey, oh, yeah, hey. God. I didn't, oh, you, you, you know, you. this is how my mind didn't play. Oh. <laughs> <So> <laughs> shit, what's that? <laughs> Did this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch what I'm doing for you, Devils. Oh, 
<laughs> Excuse me a second, but I just need a second just to oh, have sorry, a quick just swing. Whilst you're, um, whilst you're getting <laughs> yourself composed, Christine says, um, read my little story, she says, the real important thing, Ben, is that Laura said yes and that you were meant to be together after all this time. It made for a good story, lol. It was still a bit rubbish. Just to, ca just to carry that, that as well, by the way, I felt so bad about the way that I did propose. Ten years later, the real romantic that I am, I took her to um, to Venice to celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary Aww. and I, I re-proposed and bought her, her an eternity ring. Aww. Yeah, so that was, I made up for it. Um, and thank you. I don't know what all of the laughing emojis in the, in the comments are now. Rhonda and Linda and Mary and Zoe. I don't know, I don't know what's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> what you like. <laughs> Mary says, we're all such children out here too, <laughs> Debbie. This is the thing, like, I feel that we can get away with some of the stuff we talk because nine times out of ten, you started it. It's not us. It was Zoe. Zoe's led us down this line. <laughs> Zoe Carver. We were being very sensible, then you sent the message, and look where we are now. <laughs> I'm just I love it here. positioned a bit top and bottom and not... <laughs> 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 oh, God, I could have landed myself in some bright Ooh, hot water. Dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's warm in here again. So <sighs> when you take off, I've gone with the smaller one as well. <laughs> and it literally, <laughs> it's, de it's decorated. I don't know if I'll make that look worse. <laughs> it just decorates. It gives it that <laughs> matte and layer feature where you can then stick it on. I'm going to bring in my piece that I've done, Ben, because I'm telling you. I'm going to get that out of the way. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, God, my sides are killing. Now, what I've done with this is I've taken some of our nesting dies. So do you know our lovely nesting dies that we've done? This, it was the stitched edge ones that I used, and I've used those for something else. But I've just placed my stitched edges to create some bubble factors around my lovely shape. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick these down over the top. Yeah. <laughs> Still I've never seen Debbie lose it as much as this. It's made, oh, it's filled my heart with joy this evening. I'll tell you what. Uh, Rhonda says, OK, this is right up there with wax seal gate for the laughs. <laughs> oh, Mary's just said, thank you, everyone. I never would have imagined I'd be able to laugh at anything today. Well, thank, <laughs> thankfully, um, everyone's laughing. Uh, along with us. Uh, Roseanne just says, hello from a chilly Massachusetts to Lady Debbie, Sir Ben, the awesome team and all my crafty friends from all over. So, so happy to see Ben is back. A little birthday present for me. Welcome back, Ben. Well, thank you, Roseanne, Aww. and happy birthday to you. Uh, is it actually <laughs> your birthday today? Um, hopefully you're having a brilliant, brilliant time and uh, you're laughing along with us and hopefully you've been spoiled and had some lovely birthday I presents. I hope so too, yes. I hope you have enjoyed your birthday. <laughs> so literally now, what I'm going to do, Ben, <laughs> so yeah. stop sniggering in me. Dan <laughs> says, I just can't make myself purchase the booby revealed eyes because I know my friends would ask me why I sent them a boob. <laughs> It's just, uh, it has to be that shape it's so you can hook your finger door. underneath it's it. It's the curved door, so you've got the door. But you need something to get hold of to open it up with. You can't have it flat, it, so it needs something to hold on to. <laughs> to, to <burn> it. <laughs> I've got to quickly move along. <laughs> <coughs> right, in all seriousness, I'm just going to put the glue around the areas. I'm not covering up the door because I want that door to be revealed. So I'm going to put my glue. Oh, this is when you can use foam pads as well if you want to use foam <laughs> pads. Uh, but I'm just going to put my glue <laughs> way across the, uh, the, the backs of that. Jesus, stop laughing, Debbie. <laughs> Rosalind says, just don't put a little character next to the door. It will look like it's nursing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean. You guys just don't stop either. <laughs> Rhonda says, oh, OMG, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, oh, my, 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 my. So 
Now I know that my good look will be underneath there when I open it up. <sighs> but what I'm just going to finish off is I'm going to use the congratulations. I've used the congratulations stamp because I know <laughs> I've got my good look underneath that door. This could be just literally anything you want to pop underneath. It could be little characters. It could be a new baby that you're congratulating on. Um, it could be absolutely anything. So I'm just going across there. I'm going to add a few little gems just to break up the white spaces. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to pop a couple of my little gems randomly placed across the card. It's uh, Oh, what's happened to that? Oh, it's broken oh. up. I don't know. Oh, that's my pressure because I've run it through me. Um, I ran it through my Zyra and then ran it through my machine. Uh, so it's the pressure. I'm thinking, what's happened to my little gem? I've, I've managed to split the gems. Uh, but literally, you're just going to take that and decorate around that outside. Now, this is when, and I would say, if you're going to send it to someone, you've got your arrows, <laughs> and these come separate, these. So you've got your tear here and a hope in here. So you could be actually popping that, and then you could face the arrow. <laughs> yeah. You could face <laughs> the arrow. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as it is because I'm hoping my recipient will know about this. But then you literally take it, open it, and there you've got your good luck. And on the other side, let's quickly open that, your good luck and congratulations. <laughs> so these really are good fun. They are. We've had a laugh. I know we've had a laugh but because of the shape. But honestly, they're such a great concept. Um, and I absolutely adore them. I think they're fantastic dies at a fantastic price. Um, and again, three different shapes from your curved, your square to your rectangle, three different sizes on each one. Uh, for me, a real quirky one that I know you're going to have a lot of fun using time and time again, and as we most certainly have just now. <laughs> so, and it's so easy. I'm trying to bring it back. So easy to achieve as well as you've seen. Really simple to work with these. Uh, Colette says, OMG, I'm watching on the TV and I had to get back on the iPad to comment. You are all cracking me up today. Uh, Roseanne says, I chose the right time to pop in today. I mean, we've had a few laughs today. I was just, I make a note of like funny little bits I want to put on my recap and I've got a list <laughs> that's very long today from working with Debbie. I always know we're going to have a, a laugh we're going to have a laugh when we get together. Uh, Carletta says, too funny today. Uh, and Mary Beth says, glad I'm home alone. I don't want to explain why I'm laughing so much. Um, it's, been, it's been fun today, hasn't it? But in, in all seriousness, if we can just try and be serious for a second, these really are brilliant. They're a lot of fun. Uh, and they're a great price today. Best price we've done this set for £21.60 platinum, $24.8 cheap if you're shopping in the US and your platinum. You've got the different sizes to create the, uh, the different door reveal in the different shapes, of course, as well. So you do have uh, the square here. They all come with their own little stamps as well. So you can tell your recipients what they need to do when they get them. So tear here, open here. That's your square. Then you've got the, um, the little uh, rectangle there as well. Again, in the three different sizes. And we all know what this one is. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a, it's a circle, isn't it? It's curved. Is it called curved? It's a curved. No, it's not, remember, it's not a circle at all, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's curved. Let's just put it that way, then we'll all stop. Actually, no, that's not much better, is it? <laughs> Oh dear, let's get it off the screen. 2160, 2480. Uh, you'll have a lot of fun with those. <laughs> when you're crafting away with them, you'll remember this show. And Karen says, this is why Crafters TV is so much fun to watch. I mean, you wouldn't get this anywhere else, would you not? <laughs> you would not get it anywhere else. Uh, monthly craft kit. We're going to give you time to check out your baskets in just a second, but we thought it might just be quite nice uh, to show you the monthly craft kit that we launched yesterday. As I said to you earlier on, I feel I've been away for about three weeks on the tour. There was another craft kit uh, in between times because when I left, we were on 53. We're now on box number 55. So for all of those of you that collect these, box number 55, many of you, as I found out yesterday, actually have all of the 55 craft kits, which I just think is amazing. So if you are somebody perhaps who is collecting them, you'll want to buy it. If you're after something which is bang for buck, I think probably one of the best value for money items that we do, then you've got it right here in these craft kits. Uh, but also if you just want to try out these style of dies without spending a huge fortune, this is a great way to do it because you're going to get the two uh, beautiful dies in there, those grande floral swirl dies. Uh, and then you're going to get a whole host of other goodies as well. 
these two items here, so the two dies that you've got and then the stamps that you're getting in there as well, that's your consumables. So £19.99 or $23.96. And you're going to use those forever as long as you look after them once all of the papers and the card from the box have disappeared you'll still have those to use with the, your other card stock and papers that you've got in your craft room so look after those but it's jam-packed we're going to give you within the box 12 cards and envelopes four by six is the size you've got 12 different papers in there as well these really are beautiful the color palette is really rich it's really decadent you've got some really beautiful patterns running all the way through here as well so you're getting 12 sheets of the um the paper included and you'll also get 12 sheets of the card kind of like what we normally do in most of the uh, the craft kits so you've got your block colors included in there as well and of course those line up and match up really beautifully with the papers that you're going to get so 12 of those 12 of those and then and we were chatting about this yesterday first time i can't think of another craft kit where we've done it we're giving you 12 sheets of that beautiful mirror card as well so you're getting um six of the silver six of the gold included in there too so loads of consumables on top of that you're getting all of the ribbon so you're getting uh three different widths of the ribbon in the gold and the silver and then you've got that sort of um it's sort of iridescent really isn't it that sort of um aurora borealis color ribbon if you like included in the set and on top of all of that we're going to give you um, all of these beautiful adhesive gems as well there's a hundred of those included within this collection it was flying out yesterday certainly yesterday's most popular item that we had uh, if you haven't yet picked it up it is still available uh, you know value for money wise we always chat about like the consumables themselves within the box for 20 pounds or 24 dollars you've got an absolute steal when you think about all of the consumables then the fact on top of that this time you're getting the dies and the stamps as well just makes for really great great value for money great as a gift idea great if you're new to crafting as well and maybe you don't maybe you want to get into card making but you don't want to shell out a huge amount you don't want to spend loads you know with your first purchase these are absolutely brilliant honestly uh, and value for money wise you will not go wrong 19.99 or 23.96 is the deal on that one uh, Annie Cagle just says I'm in bed with the worst sinus infection I've ever had and it hurts to laugh so sorry. Um, <laughs> Kirsty D said, <laughs> no, I don't know if I'm going to read that. <laughs> uh, Michelle says, I love this crafty family. No, Kirsty D says, let's just go there. I asked my son if they look like boobies and he has gone bright red. He said they look like Christmas puddings. Christmas puddings! Oh, I like it. Turn yes. it the other way around, Christmas pud. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, Charlotte says we can all use a little laughter so thankful for this channel it keeps me smiling and Rhonda says uh, this is right up there with the wax seal gate for the laughs um, and Fred but well let's go to a break on this one Fred says <laughs> you could put cash behind those doors yes a new meaning for a booby prize <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of minutes or maybe not Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Um, my, my answer here has to be Tracy. I'm going to give a little shout out to, um, to our Tracy. I think if I had to nominate somebody, I'd probably go with Tracy. Um, because Tracy keeps me fully supplied with um, cups of tea whenever I'm working here. She always finds me the things that I've, I've lost um, and she's always you know, great to be around. I sort of get involved with our sample library, which is massive. It's where all the samples are kept, all nice and neatly, all labelled up. And part of their job is to get the necessary samples out for the show that we do.
do every day, get them all ready and prepared, often display them, tidy them away again, pop them back in the sample library and that takes an inordinate amount of time. Because they literally are the cogs that keep us working and I don't think a lot of people realise just what they do for us in terms of getting everything show ready so that we can come in, get ready and be relaxed to go on air and do those kind of things. Um, so that is just a small part of what they do, you know, as well as being floor managers during the shows, getting us any products that we need and most importantly bringing the coffee. Everybody on screen knows that make everybody's table coffee. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other! <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Welcome back, everybody. Lots of you checking out your baskets during that little break there. Um, what a fun show. It's, it's been one of those tonight, hasn't it, actually? We're having a bit of a laugh. A laugh and a craft, as uh, producer Jamie said just a few moments ago. That's what it's all about. It's also about, as well, actually, in the last sort of um, 40 minutes or so, getting your questions in. Um, if you have just joined us this evening for the first time, this is what we're all about, really. We, we bring you the fun, but we also hopefully bring you lots of information, demonstration and ideas as well. But uh, nothing quite like craft. There's TV out there, I don't think, but um, hopefully that's the reason why you guys keep coming back because you know you're going to have a laugh with us. You know you're also uh, going to learn with us. And you also know you can get in touch with us. We're interactive all the time. All the shows, you can just message, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, uh, you can send us a comment and like Zoe did and start the whole <laughs> palaver of the last 20 minutes. Um, or you can ask a question or you can you know, just get in touch and say hi. If you're new tonight, um, stick your hand up and say hello. We'd love to give you a little mention. Um, or maybe like Roseanne, you celebrate your uh, your birthday tonight whatever it is you've got about 40 minutes left to get in touch we thought we'd move on and just show you the uh, the fancy frame die collection I feel like I've only seen these um, maybe once before and whilst these obviously are going to be uh, brilliant for making cards with the, I, correct me if I'm wrong but these were specifically designed weren't they for yeah. um, using for photos weren't they yes. for photo frames yeah photo frames yeah. yeah because we had a lot of people ask we did a range of a stamp and photo frame a few years ago and, and people loved it and they asked for like just a pure metal metal die yeah. that creates the frame but they're going to frame absolutely anything anything you want to frame they will frame from sentiments to images that you might have stamped images that you have but perfect and ideal for photos including when you send your photo cards to someone when you want to do scrapbooking and you want to frame something um, I understand why these have been so popular it's lovely to have them back it really is because they're just gorgeous gorgeous dies yeah some really lovely designs that one is your uh, graceful flourish this one here is uh, beautiful the contemporary roses why whenever i see roses like this do i always automatically just go i want to paper piece those they could, you could help it because you've got that lovely open space yeah yeah absolutely um th there's some lovely designs and, and again we've kind of incorporated all of the things that you love within craft so in here you've got uh, those beautiful uh, butterflies and again uh, the ability to be able to sort of manipulate those and um, get the, uh, the the wings up out of the actual frame itself. This one is your beautiful sparkling snowflakes. So something for all the seasons. They are really stunning. Love this as well with the um, the bells. So bells and bows could be quite Christmassy that one I suppose as well with the jingle bells. And then this one is your winter foliage. Again, um, beautiful with the um, the holly berries and the holly leaves there. I, th I think they're absolutely stunning. It should be $101.94, $120 there or thereabouts, saving $36.94 or $44.70. Again, this is another one of those deals that we're doing uh, on the best ever price. So if you've not yet picked these up, it's a saving of 35%, bringing that platinum price down to £52 or 60 
dollars. Um, we're going to have a little look. Debbie's actually got we some are. cards over there, some yep. projects that you've And I'm going to do a demo as well because I absolutely adore these. I really, truly love them. And like I said, they're a frame that you can colour in, you can paper piece with, you can cut it out into a single colour, you can snip into these and then maybe add some decoupage elements to them. But you've got this beautiful frame uh, where you can frame sentiments. You can create your things like your shaker cards um, at the back there to create that lovely frame. They can frame your photos. So your photo albums, your scrapbook pages, absolutely. And then taking it into your gift box. I love this what Bianca's done because she's taken it into a gift box oh, form. Cute. Done a little bit of a shadow drop and yeah. then a tiny a little bit of ink behind the back of those liftable wings and then just put a sentiment on and again that's the beauty of this this is a frame set a frame die and i love that we've brought them into um a christmas and mm. everyday one together like a hybrid collection where you've got both yeah. rather than bringing out one set for christmas and then one set for every day we've combined them and had this hybrid collection which i just think is absolutely beautiful now, I'm going to cut mine out in two because I've got a couple of photos that I wanted to frame of the kids when they were babies. Um, again, because I'm doing my scrapbook. I'm doing my scrapbook at the moment and I've been doing, I've been taking opportunity while I've been here oh, to do not? a few scrapbook pages. I did the dogs last week. Actually, that reminds me. I think I need to try and find that one because it was hidden somewhere. It was one of those that won the demo of the... Which one? Day, my doggies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's but it didn't win the dog. I know, I need to go and have a look. Remind me before we go. Yeah, I will. But I am going to cut these out and frame. So I've gone for uh, some Centura Pearl, and I've gone for um, our baby pink and the baby blue um, for my granddaughter and my grandson. So I'm going to use those, um, and I'm just going to use the beautiful butterflies, mm. and it really is beautiful. I'm going to place that into your cardstock. We're going to run that through our Gemini, and again, to create something like a scrapbook page, I'm going to keep it really, truly simple. I'm not going to do anything fancy or anything like that. It's going to be a, a, a lovely scrapbook page um, that anybody can achieve. Because this might be the first time you've ever tried yeah. doing something like this. Um, there's lots of things that you can do with your scrapbook pages. But there's also where you just take some cardstock, some papers, and then some photos and frames, which we've got you covered with this, and some little embellishments and you can create something really quite pretty um, to go into frames. It could be a home decor piece, maybe not, maybe not a scrapbook page. You could take it into home decor as well if you wanted to do so. But again, I'm just going to take that off because this cuts out that solid frame. So you've got your aperture as well that you could then turn into, especially if you're wanting to use multiple layers mm. of uh, cardstock. Don't waste your centre, use that for something else, maybe a sentiment. Uh, but again, it could be a contrasting colour that you're going to use between the two. So I could save that one and put that inside this, the blue frame, uh, and put yeah. the frame around it. So you've got options with this. So I'm just going to give it a little tap to get rid of those little pieces. Now with the butterflies, you need to be careful because it has got some delicate features and a skeleton feature. And when I say a skeleton feature, it has to stay connected into the uh, frame. So when you're taking this out, just be mindful of that. There is a little release point at the back of the butterfly that you're just going to poke through and then lift off. And that's the same with um, all of the butterflies. So you've got, that's what I love about this frame as well. You've got butterflies, it's like, uh, what's the word? It's not symmetrical. Is it symmetrical? symmetrical? Yeah, where you've got the lovely frame part and then the butterflies that complement yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, really, really um, gorgeous set of dies. So I'm just going to take my time getting mine out. I'm not going to do what I normally do, which is rip it and then end up <laughs> ripping it all off. And I get so cross with myself because I've then wasted a piece of cardstock. Um, so I'm just going to get my um, poker tool under there. Yeah. Um, I must say hi to Lynn, who says, I love Crafters Companion. Fun, quality products. Oh, fun, quality <laughs> products and best teachers with inspiration bubbling oh, over. Oh, that's so sweet. You to say. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that is really sweet. It's lovely when you get compliments like that, isn't it? it really yeah, is. it is. It, I, it, I'm very proud of what we do here, and I, yeah, I, do, me too. I do think we're very. There's nothing quite like us out there, is there? No, <laughs> not at all. There isn't. Yeah, there is. You know, there's other places that do tutorials and videos, and there's your YouTube's and things like that where you can get some great uh, tuition. And I know because I, I use it myself. Yeah. Um, but we are quite unique here in terms of seven days a week. Yeah. Um, three shows a day. Yeah. 
lots of inspiration yeah lots of crafty fun yeah lovely community of crafters yeah. where mm -hmm. everybody supports each other and yes. helps each other mm -hmm. um and i i absolutely adore it and that's why i love doing what we do and, and i know that i'm not the only one i speak for all of us yeah we all love what we do um to show you the you know the, the way that you can use the products which is what i think sets us apart from absolutely other places right now this is a beautiful frame you've got a lovely feature and that's why it's worth taking your time just round this bit because this is the bit that lifts out so it's got that skeleton part again so you can see that skeleton shape of the butterfly and the wings have the liftable factor which i think that is really gorgeous mm. and you imagine having to do that and design that that's why i always say take your time when you're taking it out don't rip it out like a band-aid take your time because it's well worth it to get that lovely lift with your butterflies and that's throughout the whole of that design so again absolutely exquisite and i'm just going to run that through my blue one as well so i've got my two frames so Marvelous. i'll just be doing that ben while you can be uh, reading some more comments have we got any more comments coming through? yeah there's lots of love coming through actually on the um comments michelle saying i love this crafty family uh charlotte saying we can all use a little laughter so thankful for this channel keeps me smiling i think it's good as well here isn't it how we have like so many of our um, amazing crafters like debbie and like tomorrow craig's going to be in we've got becky joining us on friday you've got so much and especially when you know you get these collections it's nice isn't it that you know you're going to get the launch with um, whoever it might be and then following that you'll have various shows with different um experts so you've got so much inspiration from all of our experts here. And then you've got master classes on them, you've got craft alongs on them as well. Um, so I just, you know, if you are new to us, um, welcome. And secondly, I just think, you know, you couldn't wish for a better place, really. You've got everything that you would want. Exactly. And more. And more. Mm. Absolutely, and more. I just thought then, I'm thinking, I'm sure that didn't cut my bottom piece because <clears> I didn't let it go all the way through. I'm just gonna turn that round and just run that top piece just for a second. I'm all, I, does anybody else do that? Pop it on my plate, and I've realised it had slipped down the plate, so I thought it, I thought it was up at the top. Oh, uh, right. Have I managed to turn my machine off? Do you oh. know? I've managed to knock the way out. <laughs> I do that at home as well. I don't know if anybody else does. I get carried away sometimes and then forget what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've, it had slipped down the plate, so I thought it had cut, and then I'm thinking, it's only cut off, and it has it only cut off. That should be okay, as long as it didn't slip this time. Uh, but <coughs> doesn't hurt to give it another double cup. No, you know, no, no harm in that. Yeah. Um, some of these as well. So the lovely bell one has got a lovely emboss feature. Do you know with your purple shim? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So you can you can emboss that detail as well, and it gives a really lovely finish. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think we'll, I think I got away with that one. There we go. Absolutely fine. But yeah, again, you could take that piece, um, get your frame back in there in oh, a different yeah, colour. Yeah. So I could go with the pink. And then I could take the blue and put oh, the blue wow. back in there. Or it could be the aperture. You could put some acetate around the back and create your shaker cards with it. That's making so, me think of new babies now, those colours. Yes. Well, you'll see why in a minute when you see my pictures, because I've gone with the, them as babies rather than... The grandkids? As, yes. Oh. Rather than as they are now. Um, You're two, they're so cute. Oh, they're uh, it's so cute, lovely to little meet little them. Little cutie pies. Little Safi and Ezra. Safi and little Ezra. Do you know, he's two on Wednesday. I a week can't today. He that. is two years old. I am flabbergasted how fast that has gone by. I remember being here the day before when she got the well, I said the day before, she was taken into hospital and I got the call saying, Mum, you need to come home. And I'm like, I'm on air, I can't. I was with Derek at the time. Oh, uh, yeah. lovely Derek, yeah. yeah. So I was with Derek and I remember getting that phone call that she got took in and they had to do a, a, a caesarean uh, for her. But I can't believe it's been two, two years. years and he's a right little character. I've never asked you, but I've always assumed. So his name is so unique. Yeah, it's a lovely name. Is isn't it after it? the singer? Uh, no, because oh, no, he's called Ezra George Robinson Chip Chase. That's his full name. Ezra, Ezra George? Ezra George, yes. And it's not because she loves George Ezra, the singer. Huh. It's because she, um, his daddy is George. Ah. So he's got his, he's got his middle name. As his middle, he's got his name as his middle name. Yeah. So it's called Ezra George. But yeah, would you believe this? Tasha's made friends at the school where she goes with for Sapphire. And one of the little boys is called Harry, who's Sapphire's friend. Mm. But his baby brother, who is the same age as my little Ezra, and there's a few days between them, is also called Ezra. Is that right? How uncanny is that, yeah? And it's not a common name. It's a biblical name, but it's not. It's just one that um, Tash fell in love with. It is a biblical name, is it? It is a biblical name, yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, I believe so anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's nothing to do with the singer. Nothing oh. to do with the singer whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, she gets asked that all the time. Are you a big George Ezra fan? She's like, nope, not at all. It means um, helpful <coughs> and helper. Ezra, oh, apparently. yeah. So it has a meaning to it. Ancient oh, Hebrew. That. I'm not so sure about I mean, he's little, he, he's like his dad. His dad's a, like a rugby player. He loves well, you rugby. said he was helping you the other day when you had him round. He was helping you with your Christmas decorations, wasn't oh, he? Oh, good Lord, that boy is wild. <laughs> he's absolutely wild. Is he taking the decorations down? Taking my decorations down. <laughs> I've only just got a tree up. It's the first time I've had a tree up in about four or five years. Yeah. And he come in and his little eyes lit up. I could see him straight to it. Because yeah. it's silver and glittery, yeah. my tree. And all the baubles are silver glitter. And he was just straight at it and he was whipping them off. They were flying over my head. I'm like, hey, it's like a toddler's <laughs> dream, isn't it? Oh, God, honestly. <laughs> I didn't think it would be him. I didn't think it. And Sapphire just stood there looking at it, going, oh, no, no, your tree is so beautiful. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Not anymore, as he's like chucking the balls right, over his head. I to redo it all again. I'm like, it took me ages <laughs> to get my tree. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a little, he is a little comic, but I love him to bits. But I can't believe he's two next week. I know, it's crazy. Fine, Absolutely crazy. Bless him. Uh, now, I've got both of my frames sorted. Yep. What I've actually done with this, I've just popped it onto some black so you can see that beautiful detail. What you've also got in here, and I'm going to do it with these, is you've got that snip ability where you can... I've already got a couple of, die, uh, of the frames cut out, so don't worry about this bit, but it's just to show you that you can take these pieces, get your little snippy scissors, you'll find these on the website. Um, actually, not sure if the little snippers are in stock, but you can oh. go and check the, uh, check the website out. Um, take your little snippy scissors and cut out your butterflies. So you've got your little butterfly detail that then can go on uh, and add around the frame if you want. And you can do that with all of them, which is what I've done with these then. And I did that with both the pink and the blue. Now I've taken some of possibly my favorite paper and cards that we've done in terms of the satin cardstock. This was that lovely uh, um, yeah. shades of I think it's called Shades of Spring. Spring. Mm. I'm hoping that Sarah and the team are going to reproduce this one because I will cry when these sheets run out. I absolutely love them. There was a winter one and there was a, a, a spring one. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Almost a shame to cover this side up, it is. But it just makes for a perfect... Um, colour tone and I've I've deliberately chosen blue and pink because in, in here there's like some purples there's some blues uh, as well as that lovely mint and I thought they'll complement each other or they did in my craft room with me me rubbish light <laughs> I've just got myself a 12 by 12 piece I've trimmed this pattern paper down to 11 and three quarters square so I've got that still that quarter of an inch um, increment just to frame that slightly and then I'm going to bring in my little pictures. What I've actually done as well with these is I have got... Oh, look at her. Oh, that was little Safi when she was born. So cute. My little fighter, because she was very poorly when mm. she was born. She was in, in um, school for a bit. Um, but little little fighter that she is. I love that picture because it's like she's going like that. Yeah. I'm fighting, I'm fighting. <laughs> but it's when she'd come out of uh, her incubator and her, all her drips and everything. How old is Safi now? She's four. four. Yeah, four. She's five in May. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, but look how beautiful these frames. Now, mm. I've deliberately chosen a black to go over and draw a drop shadow so it really brings your photo and lifts your photo off your page, especially if you're using a patterned uh, yeah. paper. And the same with little Ezra. God, love him. Oh, he's, he's such a little cute. cutie pie. He really is. That. I love them both to bits. Love the... Oh, honestly. Can't tell you. They don't, you know, I used to listen to people who would say... You know, you know, your nanan's love, your grandma's love, or whatever, whatever yeah. you like to call yourself. Oh, it's so true. It is so true. I think it, maybe it was Jan that said, um, like she, you, you kind of, you obviously love your own children, but then you do. when your kids then have kids, you, she, she almost, you can't explain the love that you, you have for your grand. It's like, a, it's like almost like Egg, a different level. Yeah, it is a different level, and that's so true because I remember, and I remember saying that to Jan. Jan was. Um, I worked with Jan in the Chesterfield store and she followed our little Safi's journey from start to finish, bless her. <laughs> and she was with me. Um, and so and I used to say to her, and obviously now she's been blessed herself twice, but it's true, it's, it's very, very true. Um, I often say that they're my world and then my, daughter, my eldest daughter comes on and she'll go, what do you mean they're your world? What, what's wrong with us? <laughs> I'm like, nothing's wrong with you, but it's a different kind of love. It, I, I can't describe it. Um, all the nanans and the granddads that are, are blessed will totally understand what I mean by that. But yeah. you, you do. You, you've got a whole different type of love. 
I don't like it when they cry. Pretty much like when you're with your own Ben. You'll know what I mean by that. But yeah. I hate them being hurt. I hate them being poorly. Yeah. Um, I just want to protect them all the time. And I just I love the bones of them. They are literally my world. That I'm kind of makes sense them. then for when um, that whole thing, you know, for when my kids were little you know they'd come to sort of me or laura and be like oh can we can we get some sweets or whatever and you'd be like no you can't and then they go to <laughs> nanny or granddad he gets some, oh yes of course because you know nanny or grandma or you know granddad do whatever won't they for the grandkids you see i know i have mm. to be careful though i like to respect tasha's oh, yes. wishes but mm. um i do i'm, I'm usually the voice of reason <laughs> And I'll try and say, but Tash, and then, and then and then and then I think Safi's picked it up, especially. I think she's definitely picked up on that. Um, but yeah, literally, uh, <laughs> she comes running to me, or she gives me the face, and now she started giving me that trembling lip, where she oh, looks really? at me as though to say, "Will you sort it, Nana, for me? You talk to you talk to you talk to Mummy for me." <laughs> She's literally nailed it to a T. She really has. Uses you as the negotiator. I am the yeah. negotiator, yeah. Um, but I do respect both both uh, mummy and daddy's wishes. I do. But you have to do you have to do a little bit of negotiation for the sake of the grandkids. <laughs> uh, lots of love coming in for your pictures, by the way. Mary's saying beautiful pictures, Debbie. Oh, thank you. Um, and Lynn saying Debbie, the page is beautiful. It is. And I'm keeping it really simple, Ben. I'm mm -hmm. not going mad. I'm just keeping it really nice and simple. I'm framing them. They fit perfectly. Now, these are four by six, these pictures, but you can get away with a five by seven as well. These are quite big dies, so you can see when I talk about it. I've got a little bit of a corner piece coming through both sides, but I quite like that. Um, so, yeah, they'll fit for four by four by six and five by seven. And then I'm going to place... Remember, right, oh, no, I've snipped that one, haven't I? Where's, where's my other bits gone? I had them two seconds ago. What have I done with them? Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah, there we are. Yeah. Now yeah, I'm going to make sure with these um, butterflies. I've ke I've kept them fairly flat, but I want these to have that liftable. So I'm only going to go around that skeleton feature with these, and then oh, Debbie, wrong glue. Ooh, picked up the solid glue, Ben. Oh, oh, oh four par, four what par. What you like? Is it? Are you, are yeah, you it's are the you good? Um, the solid one, which is no good for this filigree design at all. So I'm hoping I can get away with that and I've not spoiled it too much. We'll see. Um, we'll see. Just whilst you're sticking as well, sort of non-related question come in, but it's a question from Dana, yeah. Dana, saying, are there any of your pens that I can store upright or is it best to store the pens? So uh, all of the flat. pens can be stored upright. We recommend you lay them flat so yeah. that you've got equal, equal ink in the barrels. Um, but what we recommend is if you are storing pens upright, they are upright with a nib pointing upwards. Oh, so, yes. So, you, so you've got no seepage or anything like that coming through, if that makes any sense. Gotcha. So, yes. So if you don't like the storage systems that we have, you can absolutely... I'm trying to be careful with this, Ben, because I've got that solid tape there. OK. Um, yeah, you absolutely can store them upright. The recommendation that we always say to you, you'll hear all of us say is lay them flat yeah. we've got pen trays and ink pads and things like that ink trays we would always recommend that you do that however there is nothing to stop you from keeping them upright but just make sure your pen with your nib is upright and it's facing down not the nib downwards because all the ink will seep down or the pens yeah. or the sparkle pens will seep down and that's the last thing you want so again this has now got that liftable i'm going to go in with the pink one just around there remembering to use the right glue there we go. Um, whilst you're sticking, Michelle says, loving the paper. Uh, Roseanne says, Crafters TV, so much fun. The attitude of everyone in front of the camera, behind the camera and watching is so unique. Aww. I've been away for a couple of days and not able to watch. And I tell you, I've missed everyone. Thank you for all the laughs. You are all awesome, says Roseanne. Oh, thank, thank you, Roseanne. That's um, lovely. Minette just says, I'm disabled. Your demos give me so much inspiration to craft on my good days. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely message. That's lovely. Thank you for your lovely uh, message. That's beautiful. Mo says, glad things have settled down and glad Ben and Debbie are on together, having fun, always. <laughs> um, and read the whole grandchildren thing. Marion's <coughs> saying, I understand, <laughs> Debbie. My youngest is so close to me. I was there within an hour of him being born. Aww. I just fell in love when I saw him. Yeah, it's an it's a instant love. Um, and I have a very close bond. I've got a close bond with them both because he brings a whole different meaning to the... Because he's a little boy. Yeah. And he's just... Oh, he's at right that lovely age where he's hugging you every two seconds. And, yeah. 
and Sassy's a little bit sassy now, Saffy. It's a little sassy, sassy, sassy pants, sass, sassy Saff, we call her. Um, so she's got in that little, you know, that, that defiant stage in places, places that you don't want to do. Um, but uh, I've got a very close bond with both of them. Yeah. Um, but she lived with me for the first few years of her life. So um, we, we, and they came down to see me this weekend and she wanted to do all the things. She remembered everything from going on bed and going through my jewelry drawer and can I sit on settee and have a snack and all those little things. So she so hasn't forgotten cute. anything, bless her, because they've, they've, they've been in their own house now for like two years, mm. come to two years. So um, it's lovely, but oh God, yeah, the love I have for the pair of them is just something else. Emma's just said, they're so precious, Debbie. I have one grandson, a four month old granddaughter, a two year old granddaughter who lives with me and a granddaughter due any time. Oh. Um, Makes me feel old, lol. Well, it? yeah, that's the only downside to being a nan -an, um, or a grandma or whatever you like to call yourself or a grandparent. Um, yeah, it's the only downside. <laughs> I feel so old. Now, I've deliberately popped on. So the, the pieces that I've cut out of the frames, I've deliberately put a pink one on the blue one just to give it a little bit of a lift again. Um, and then I'm going to use... Now, I had some alphabet dyes on quite recently. Uh, okay. um, so I'm just using my alphabet dyes too. Um, and I'm going to make sure I've got this the right oh, way around because I've cute. popped it through on my um, little piece. And I'm just going to pop this down because it's going to go into the scrapbook. Um, and I'm going to do it this way around. Um, whilst you're sticking. And then this is, a, you know what, this is a good question again for our newbies because you might be wondering, should I say, Debbie, I hope you don't mind if I copy your idea. Absolutely That's not. You copy for, away. It, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The, you know, there's, this is what it's all about. It's mm. about some inspiration. I've kept it very simple, this scrapbook page. I'm going to share that book once it's completed. I'm going to share my book because I've done lots of different layouts and things like that. That's the fun thing about a scrapbook. Yeah. There's no right or wrong way. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm going to share that when, with you all when, I, when I've completed it. Um, but yeah, um. absolutely. That's what it's all about. It's about some inspiration, about some ideas. Um, and again, just have a play with the things. Now these dies, uh, I had the left fold alphabets on. I had the multi, um, I think it was the left fold, the multi, multi craft ones. I'm trying to remember all the alphabets that I had. I've had loads on recently. But uh, you will need to have a good set of alphabets, especially if you're doing a scrapbook page, which is for me to pop their names in both sides. And then I'm gonna use the rest of those butterflies just to, and I'm just going to do this by eye, just to make sure it's nice and straight, that'll do. Um, and then I'm just going to use the rest of those little butterflies just to give it a little bit of um, um, titivation across the <laughs> scrapbook page. Um, and again, I might just perch one just at the top. <laughs> Beth just said, my oldest grandchild is 21 and in the third year of college. Now that is old. Oh, no, 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 no. 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 Um, just loads of lovely comments coming through Debbie for this page. I've got a lot of scrapbooking plans, particularly with our US viewers. It's, oh, I, I love, it's, it's bigger, yeah. isn't it, in the US? Oh, perhaps. it is. Um, I still love doing it. I know Jan loves her scrapbooks. I, I love doing scrapbook pages and then just building building those up. You can do that, I mean, like, especially with your kids and yeah, grandkids. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. But there we go. I'm going to keep it nice and simple and just hold that up for you. Using those frames uh, and my pictures. And then the alphabets there, just to pop on the two loves of my life. Um, and again, using those frames to really show off those pictures uh, that you've got. Absolutely beautiful. Um, just tremendous, just to read a few comments. We'll recap on the, um, the frames as well. Um, Anne says, I use the butterfly frame and the rose frame to make picture frames for my new great niece. Uh, made it so she can change out the pictures. That's a lovely, that's a really nice idea. I love that. Uh, Emma says, Ben, uh, oh, it was great seeing you in Basingstoke. I sat at the front row, your left, on my own. I enjoyed every minute of it. Well, that's lovely to hear. Thank you. Do let us um, do let us know, by the way, if you if you did come to any of the shows. If you haven't yet told us uh, whether you loved it or not, love to hear from you. Uh, Jane saying beautiful. Marion says my grandson makes me feel younger. Uh, Coletta saying beautiful grandbabes, Debbie. Nothing better in this world. Uh, Michelle saying, I love this, Debbie. And Linda Armstead on YouTube says, what a beautiful page. Let me just recap on the collection for you, and then we will do the demo of the show vote, and then get the vote going for the demo of the day, which will be... Oh, it'll be a Debbie win, won't it? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hang on. They've broken one of my boards. 
Right, so six different designs. So you've got, um, as Debbie was saying earlier on, a mixture really of your kind of everyday designs and you've got some festive ones in here as well. So this one, obviously on the festive front, you've got that winter foliage. We'd like you seen there, perfect for doing things like your scrapbooks, perfect for framing your, uh, your photos as well, but certainly a handy little frame to pop in the middle of it, whatever you want really. Um, and lots of these, as you can see, particularly with this uh, winter foliage collection, uh, perfect for doing things like your paper piecing, your coloring as well. Um, certainly, again, the kind of things that you might wanna add, um, things like your sparkle pens too, that we had a little bit earlier on, but a glitter on these as well. Uh, this is gorgeous, this one's called your bells and bows. Uh, Christmassy, yeah, I suppose. I suppose there's no reason you couldn't use the bells and bows right throughout the year as well, it's entirely up to you, really. And then your um, other Christmassy one, of course, is your sparkling snowflakes. Again, lots of snippability with these. If you decided that maybe you wanted to like create a frame and then add extra snowflakes, you could certainly cut that another time and then snip into the snowflakes to add them as embellishments elsewhere on your project. Then you've got your kind of everyday ones as well. And we've incorporated some really beautiful designs. Love the beautiful butterflies. I mean, who doesn't love the butterflies? But also for the fact that you've got the ability to just pop the wings out of the actual uh, skeleton frame itself. Then you've got the uh, rose or the contemporary rose, I should, as I, as I should say. Uh, again, loads of detail on this. Plenty of sniffability, paper piece ability with that, of course, too. And then you have finally got your graceful flourish. So best ever price on these, you should be paying over 100 or nearly 102 pounds, uh, almost $120. It's a 35% saving, less to 20% if you're platinum, which we know the majority of you are. So that is 52 pounds platinum, uh, $60 if you're shopping in the US. We'll get the vote for the uh, demo of the show going. Just a few more comments coming through. Charlotte Clark saying, such a lovely scrapbook page, Debbie. Such precious kids, says Karen Wells Sorrell. Beautiful page. Uh, Marion Johnson says, I love my scrapbooking. The frames are gorgeous. Never had anything as beautiful when I was doing the grandchildren pages 20 years ago. Mary Beth Orr saying, what a beautiful scrapbook page. And Mimi George says, scrapbook pages enjoyed by grandchildren. They love to look at their parents when they were young. <laughs> um, watch mummy and daddy fall in love, etc. Oh, uh, now so everyone's sweet. photos live on their phones or devices and are not easy for kids to see. Our grandkids get lost in reading through the books. That is such a great point as well. And I think that's where this collection particularly comes into its own because it's one of those collections, again, that's going to encourage you to get on your phone, get on your um, tablets and print off those photos and create memories, you know, memory books, little albums, scrapbook pages. I've still got, uh, it's one of my favorite presents that I got for my 18th birthday. Uh, my mum and dad just literally took all of the photos of me from when I was little, uh, right through the ages and put them into three photo albums in sort of like chronological order. I still get those out now and look at them now and again. Um, I just think it's such a lovely thing to do and that's the kind of thing that you can do with these, creating your scrapbook pages, creating your albums as well. Uh, it's 52 pounds or 60 dollars today. Right, we are going to get the vote going on the demo of the show. So in case you have just joined us, let's have a recap with Debbie. So we started with our angel collection, number one, uh, with the beautiful angel wings and that gorgeous heartfelt sentiment. Kept it really simple, really straightforward. Um, so you've got number one, the angel. Number two was our reveal. I know we revealed it, but we've <laughs> got our reveal message. So that's number two. And then number three is our scrapbook page. And I'll just lift it up there so you can see using those gorgeous fancy frames. So that's number three. One, two, or three. Get voting. You've got about mm, three minutes to get your vote in on that. A uh, few items just to kind of close the show with whilst you're voting. Uh, pads, paper pads, pads. The winter tail and the winter solstice that we launched back in birthday, I think. Um, the winter's tail. No, sorry, not birthday. I mean Christmas. I mean Christmas. You know what I mean. You guys knew. Um, these are gorgeous. So you've got the two 12 by 12 paper pads. This one's the Winter's Tale. Love that song. You knew I was going to talk about David Essex, didn't you? <laughs> got it on my Christmas playlist now. Is anyone else just playing Christmas tunes non-stop? Oh, I love... Oh, no. No. Oh. No? No. No, I only meet shops and that, no. You're not no. playing Christmas songs yet? Or you're no. just not bothered? No. You're still playing the Prodigy in your car, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching up with all my podcasts. And, oh. my, and my stories and things like that but because uh, all the radio channels they're all playing them at the moment aren't well do they? you know what I, I, I felt like 
I've got really Christmassy this year. I mean, I love Christmas, but I've got really Christmassy this year and I wasn't getting enough from our local radio stations. So I found, um, well, it's okay to say, isn't it? Magic Radio here in the UK with oh, Ronan. Oh, it's amazing, Magic Radio. They're doing just, all they're doing is playing Christmas songs. Oh, yeah, so every morning. 7 yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've not heard David Essex on there yet, though. But anyway, why am I talking about David Essex? Because he had a song called A Winter's Tale back in about 1980. <laughs> Um, and this is the Winter's Tale paper pad, which, as you can see, is absolutely beautiful. That one's the first of the two that comes with the collection. 20% off the deal, not just the Winter's Tale, but you're also going to get the Winter Solstice as well. Love this for many reasons. One, I love the design. It's got a real sort of um, Scandinavian feel to it. A lot of the artwork on this one actually reminds me of that TV show, The Moomins. I'm not actually sure. Did you have that in the US? I don't know. Um, but it was um, a fun TV show. Lovely sort of Scandi art design. Lots of Christmassy designs, as you would expect. But the other brilliant thing about this is the reverse. There's lots of um, kind of block colours and designs that you can use year round as well. So it, it, it's very good for kind of that uh, purpose. But as a you know, a couple of beautiful 12 by 12 paper pads for 17.99. That is an absolute steal. 23 pounds 53 dollars 59 I should say if you're a platinum member and you're shopping in the US. That is a really really great deal. Oh. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Oh. Demo oh. the show votes in. Oh, right, okay. doing then <laughs> I was trying to guess and I was gonna say verbally to so I didn't I just, trying to I guess. did an answer yeah. you're trying to guess which one won and she, no I'm not doing it it wasn't that one number three Oh, oh, Miss Grant. Oh, Ben, are you here on Sunday? You're going to have to look after the No, I'm not. Because I wanted to take it off. Jo uh, ja Jamie's here Sunday. Oh, Jamie, make sure that they put it somewhere safe for me because I wanted to take it off to put it on my scrapbook page. Well, it might not win yet. True. That's very true. But yeah, so, but as, as long as it don't go in the box that we send away for prizes because I want this to come back home to, to me to go on my scrapbook page. But thank you very much. Oh, you're, but, you're not in there, are you? No. <laughs> No. Right, so please, even if you like number two, please can you vote for number <laughs> one on the demo of the day. So number one... We had the both photos of me with the kids or, or my ah. kids. So number one is the... I mean, I love... I can't tell you how much I love these frames. I adore them. So I'm really pleased. It's a, it's a, it's a, a fight between the frames. That was my Christmas one that I made this morning. Were you wanting to take that one as well? I want love. Did you want to take oh, that God, one? Oh, God, yeah. It's a picture of me and my little Les. Well, yeah. don't vote for either of them then. You want, one of, well, one of them's got to win today, so I mean, I'm hoping I can take this back with me. Yeah. Number two, as the scrapbook page, but I need my card back as well. <laughs> right, so which one do you want people to vote for? Uh, I want them both back, so um, does that just cancel it out? I mean, I suppose, I suppose what we could do, you could get people to vote, right, one <laughs> or two, and then you could forfeit and just say, well, actually, I'm not going to put it forward for the demo of the week. Oh, that's true, yes, yeah, so I could take it home with me. Yep, yeah, absolutely. That'd be yeah. easier, wouldn't it? Because you're not yeah. going to get it otherwise. Yeah. So vote for the one that you like best. Oh, yep. I, no, I'll tell you what we can do. What's I'll that? tell you what we can do. What's that? Vote for the one that you like best. You can take it, and then we can, um, we can just, I don't know, screenshot it or something. Yeah. That's right, a good stay idea. There. Stay there. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm just... Oh, it's screenshot. <laughs> huh? Idea. She's got to that one. Okay. There. Yeah, she's got to take a picture of it anyway. <laughs> well, I've got. I'm, oh no, I'm not here though. So it doesn't matter, does it? I'll oh, scrap that idea. Scrap that. I'll send it right. to you, Jamie. <laughs> right, wait there. I just see this one. So number one is the one that Ben's taking the picture of right now. <laughs> number one and number two. You decide. So one or two, <laughs> the vote's probably come in already after us mucking about. Uh, one or two is up to you. Right, uh, we've, got, we've got about, a, I don't know, a couple of minutes to get your vote in um, on that one <laughs> right now. Um, right, really quick, it has to be quick. Really quick look at the, <coughs> oh dear. 
Angel Collection. Right, here we go. So you've got 10 chances left to grab the Angel Collection. The best ever price we've done it for, uh, $58.40 or $74.40 for this set. Um, you get everything I'm about to show you as far as the hardware is concerned. Then you're going to get your 12 by 12 paper pad and you're going to get your luxury card slot and you're going to get uh, the downloadable 8x8 eight eight pad as well. So die-wise, you've got this one here, which is that beautiful heaven scent. Uh, then you've got your heavenly blessings. Really, really gorgeous, gorgeous dice. This is the one that Debbie used on the um, first demo that we did on here on Beautiful Beginnings. The beautiful uh, wings there, the Believe in Angels. Then you've got the, uh, the Edgeable. That one's called Eternal Love. Then we bring you uh, lots of stamp and die sets. Well, I say lots, there's two. This one is the beautiful Ethereal Angels. So you've got the... Uh, the angel who's well praying there, peace dove, feather, uh, all the stamps and then all of those dies to be able to cut out your coloured images. Then you're going to get uh, this set here, it doesn't have a name on it this one but um, you can see that beautiful angel, got the harp and then again the dies to be able to cut out the images. This is your sentiment set, it's called Angel Blessings, so some really, really gorgeous sentiments for all occasions, lots of just because sentiments there too. And then you're going to get your Angel Kisses, which is the, um, the die, and then all of the stamps there to be able to create your own sentiments with. On top of all of that, if you go for the full bundle, less than 10 of these remaining now, you will receive your uh, luxury linen card packs, that's six sheets, four different colours, um, so you've got 24 sheets in total on that. You'll get your downloadable 8x8 pad, which is a replica of your 12x12 pad, which you're also getting. As I've said, this is kind of a bit of a Brucey bonus, really, because I thought the 12x12 pad had gone. We must have found them somewhere else in the business um, to bring you these. There's less than 10 opportunities to grab the full collection. It's the pad which is going to sell out the um, collection. So if you want to get your hands on it today, grab this now, or certainly uh, pretty soon after we go off air in about 90 seconds time. Uh, right, we're still waiting for the final result on the demo of the day. Uh, lots coming up tomorrow. We've got a jam-packed day. I'm very excited. You know what? I feel... I, I'm loving the fact that I'm back because I got to work with Debbie McGiggles yesterday. <laughs> Today I got to work with TV Wifey, which was amazing. Tomorrow I get to work with me, uh, me, me, me bestie. What? Well, here's the thing. I haven't actually spoken to Craig, um, but we do have a craft along tomorrow. Will he involve me? It's those make and send pads, which I made some cards with. Well, do you know what I was chatting about Stephen earlier on in the show, who I sent a card to? That card that I sent to him was from the, um, the make and send pads. We'll see what he says. Uh, see what Craig says. It's up to him. It's his, his show. So if he wants me to craft along, I will. Um, oh, hang on a minute. Is that to tomorrow wake up call i'm not in for the craft along so i won't be crafting along with him i'm in for wake up call and then cartload oh yeah huh you got a split shift tomorrow you got a split shift yeah oh, oh you got me excited then we didn't say it like so, that we're doing the show with craig so i'm doing wake up call with craig yeah then who's doing the middle show lily lily and craig oh, oh. i get it i get and then me and craig because we've got a winter sale cartload tomorrow wow that's a big one tomorrow that one isn't it's gonna it? be yep. it's gonna be a big one yep uh oh lily's got the craft along by herself tomorrow oh it's an hour long so craig's got a split day as well so craig's got a split what are you like <laughs> hashtag slackers uh demo of the day one yay get to take me the scrap Thank you very much. I did say that a bit too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! Um, what a fantastic day. Thank you so much. What a You're lovely day. You're very welcome. Merry I've Christmas. really, really enjoyed it. It's been lovely. Uh, it's been lovely being back with you, Ben. Um, and it's been a lovely last day for me. At Crafters TV, it is. I've got a few hobby maker shows over the next few days, including some of your holiday period as well. But I'll be back here in the new year. So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm quite early on as well. I think I'm around the 4th or the 5th, something like that. Wow. So, yeah, so it'll be a good one. So, what I'm going to say to you all is, for those of you who don't, because obviously Hobby Maker is a UK channel that we um, sell, uh, well, we take our, our products now and sell through as well. So, for everybody who is here on Crafters TV, I'm wishing you all a very happy Christmas and a new year, and I will see you in that new year. 
we look forward to it. And uh, thank you to, uh, to you guys for watching as well. Thank you to Superstar Susie on the socials and Rachel and all the crew and to Charlotte and to Jake and to Jamie. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, Craig and Lily for another fun day here on Craftlet TV. Until then, bye for now.